Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, everyone. Welcome on back to a little randomized perfection action. Very excited to be here. The randomizer is really starting to pick up speed lately, and we'll, we're going to hopefully keep up that trend today, depending on how this uh, latest goal treats us. Goal number 25 literally like two streams ago we were on goal 18 what the heck happened dude <laughs> current randomizer goal ship caviar thank you woolly socks for uh for getting nightbot to wake up for me boom how's everybody been doing today having a good week good to see all you all your familiar names and faces hello lisa cobalt cryptid epsilon aphrodite annika schweed switch glitch Tessa, Aruz B, Quasar. Qua it's your birthday today, Quasar? Oh my goodness, can we get some birthday cake emojis for Quasar? Happy birthday, I'm glad you're spending at least a portion of it with us today. I'm glad to get to share it with you. Sounds like he missed some things. <laughs> if you weren't here for the previous stream or two, it's it's a whole different ball game now. We are officially past uh, golden clock territory and past bone mill territory. It's the bone mill went faster than any of us could have expected, I think. So I'm very happy to to say that we are well and truly cruising. Ship caviar is bound to be a little bit of a, a sticking point if um if RNG doesn't favor us today. Basically we all basically all we have to worry about is getting a Sturgeon from Krobus, because that's the most reliable way we can get a Sturgeon experience free without catching a Sturgeon ourselves. And, uh, yeah, once we get that, it's pretty much smooth sailing from there, I think. You binged all the VODs in this series in the past week or so, and now you're finally caught up. Vampire Gecko, welcome. I'm glad you're able to catch a live one now. That is a heck of a commitment. Holy. <laughs> I'm, glad, I'm glad you enjoyed the VODs. Binging them all in a week, that's a lot of content. Or Traveling Cart, right? Traveling Cart is uh, banned in the randomizer. Just to make things a bit more interesting. Make us have to... Because you can technically do everything uh, without the Traveling Cart. Except for the Rare Seed, which we already bought and dealt with, so... It's the complete breakfast all over again. I am getting distinct hash brown flashbacks. That's going to be... Uh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Hopefully it's not quite so bad. And we can't even call Krobus. So we're going to have to go visit him every time. Thankfully... He is open 24-7. There's We can just go talk to him uh, once a week, every time we need to. So it's not that bad. Why no car since you're just buying it anyway? Because it's, it's the principle of the matter. We banned the cart to make it so that, like, um, we can't just, for, sh for, like, every shipping goal, we can't just, like, oh, well, this is a hard one to get, so we'll just wait for the traveling cart to sell it and then, like, reship it, basically. That's the, uh... That's the idea, is that I didn't want it to be like... Because, like, for this goal, for instance, I think the traveling card does sell caviar, doesn't she? So, like, we could just, like, wait for her to sell caviar and then sell the caviar back ourselves. It's to prevent, prevent that kind of cheesiness, which just doesn't seem like a fun way to approach a lot of the goals. At least not to me. Maybe your mileage may vary, but... Regardless, before we get into things here, got a couple things to go over. This is the final stream... Before I head off on my family vacation for about two weeks, by the way. So, uh, let's make it a fun one. Starting with a good little bit of fan art to get us all in the right mood here. This right here. Look at this. These cute little pixel art interpretations of our, uh, of our goals. Courtesy of Quasar, whose birthday it is today. Quas is Quasar, it's your birthday and you're giving me a gift. What the heck is this? <laughs> Look, it's so cute. Look at all, these are all the goals we've completed up until this point. Minus the caviar, we haven't completed that one, but... You love the lemon stone on the sign, it's a very nice touch. <laughs> very well done, thank you Quasar for this. Quasar. 
It's so cute, right? It's it's very well very well realized. Couldn't have done it better myself. Not by a long shot. <laughs> Thank you to Quasar, and thank you to all the fan arts who have contributed fan art over the past uh, past year and a bit of the streams. If you'd like to share your own fan art, exclamation point Discord, there's a link to the Discord there, or below the stream. Let us know how you want to be credited, if you want to be credited, when you share it in the fan art channel over there. Heck yeah. And as is becoming a minor tradition around these parts, before we get into the actual game, how do you guys feel about a little bit of Puffertle? I think I'm, I think I'm feeling pretty good about Puff Hurdle based on our current streak. I'm going to bring you in here. Little Puff Hurdle, baby. For those who haven't seen this, this is a uh, you basically get a ran given a random fish in Stardew Valley. You get to see the pattern by catching it, and then you have to guess what the type what type of fish it is. So let's uh, let's give it a whirl here. This is. An extremely easy fish. I'm gonna get this treasure as well, because I, I I can. This is ve very much in the lower echelon of difficulty. That is like I'm gonna start with the with the most basic thing. It, it like wasn't moving for like five seconds at the start there. That screams carp to me. Okay. We got the time and the weather right. So weather is any weather. Time is any time, because I'm pretty sure carp is any time. Location, so it's not in the um it's not in the lake. It's not in the sewer. It's not in the secret woods. Because there's no overlap in the location there. Season, there's it's it's not all season, because otherwise this would be green, right? Because the carp can be caught any season. So it's a specific season, but available at all times in any weather in a different location. So probably a river or an ocean fish. Let's give sardine a little crack here. Because that's, no, that's not available every season. Let's try sardine. Okay, it's not an ocean fish. The time... Oh, you know what? The time threw me... The time's not available. It's not available at all times either. Okay. That, uh, that's my bad. Either way, it's not an ocean fish. It's a river fish. Could it just be a sunfish? Now, a sunfish is only available in sunny weather. What's the next, like, easy... Could it be a chub? The chub is available in the lake, though, so that would have some overlap with the carp. Um... Hmm. I was gonna say herring, but it's not in the ocean. Could it be a perch? Now, a perch is... is lo it's not... It's in, it's an all-day... Maybe it's just like a special location. Maybe this is a uh, like a mines fish, or could this be a sand fish? No, sand fish is not available all day. Sand fish is only available to like eight p.m. or something like that. I'm looking here, it's not a wood skip. It was not uh, aggressive enough to be a wood skip, I don't think. Plus, that would have overlap with the carp. This this one's stumping me a little bit. I I want to say it's a river fish. I'm just trying to think of what river fish are available like all day. I'm gonna try the chub. I don't think it's this, but there's not even any overlap with the chub. That's interesting. Okay. Could this be a ginger island fish? A ginger island fish. Like, a, could it be a lionfish? Probably not, to be honest with you. Season. Season wouldn't affect Ginger Island fish either. They're available any season, so that doesn't track. Dude, this I'm I don't, I'm not looking at chat either because I'm worried that someone's gonna spoil it for me. But I <laughs> I feel like I'm missing something big here. I feel like I'm missing something very very integral. Could this be a ghost fish? It's not a ghost fish. Where is this fish? It's not like in the river. It's not in the... It's not in the ocean. It's not in the lake. Maybe chub isn't a river fish? No, chub, you can catch the chub in the river. Yeah, you definitely can. Huh. What? What? It's such an easy fish, too, in concept. 
Okay, let me just go over these. Like, these are all ocean fish. You're a river fish, lake, river, 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 ocean, river. Like, none of you. I'm just going, the, going over them in my brain. Is there, like, a specific location that I'm missing? It's, it's, I swear it's not the sandfish. The sandfish is the only one that makes sense to me, but the sandfish... Maybe the carp is not available all day. Maybe it's only available... I'm gonna try a sandfish. Okay, no, that's what I thought. We got one guess left. I'm gonna I'm gonna fail my puff hurdle today. This is this is not pretty. Dude, I don't know what this fish is. <laughs> oh no! I'm it's all falling apart. I'm just, I'm running it through in my head. What am I, I'm missing something vital here. This, this location information is throwing me. Maybe it is in the river? Specific season. Dude, this is. <laughs> I want to get to. I want to get to the randomizer challenge, but I need to. I need to think this one through. You're not a mines fish. You're not an ocean fish. You're not a lake fish. Maybe you are a river fish after all. Somehow, somehow, some way. Are you a perch? Send it. <laughs> what is this? It's a smallmouth bass. What the heck? <laughs> Am I crazy? I thought you could catch the chub in the river, dude. I thought that's that's why that's what it was throwing me. The smallmouth bass. All right. Well, you can't win them all, I guess. That's fine. <laughs> you sm thought smallmouth bass were, were all season? I know the smallmouth bass is not all season, but I was I I could have sworn you could catch the chub in the river. River Town versus River Forest. Oh, that's what's throwing me. The small smallmouth bass is like one of those weird fish. It's only available in the Town River, not the Forest River. It's it's like the only fish that's like that too. I should have known that. That's okay. C'est la vie. Like I said, can't you can't win them all. You got to learn from your mistakes. You know why that you know why that was throwing me? Wait, hold on. I just I got I got a red error message. I got a red error message for some reason. Uh in my in, in like my mod loading. Hold on, I gotta check one thing here. I, I thought I had my mods set up properly. I was I did replace some mods. So it might be. Okay, let me let me get rid of this here. Okay, this should, that should work now. I am playing hard. I I was playing hard mode Puff Hurdle, that's true. Where I don't get to location or inf like location or season or weather information given to me. I just have to try and remember it. You know what threw me off though? Is that um most of my fishing knowledge comes from the challenge that I'm currently working on working on editing. The where I where I try to catch every single fish in the same day, in the same Stardew Valley day. And from that experience, I used magic bait like a whole lot. And when you're using magic bait, you can catch the smallmouth bass in the forest river as well. Because it's available in the forest pond and the town river. But if you're fishing in the river at all, regardless of location, you can catch like every fish with magic bait. It's a weird like idiosyncrasy that only I would fall prey to, I think. Because <laughs> who else is using magic bait on the regular? Anyway, I digress. I digress. Too many fish on the brain now. Holy, I've I just, I just go into my uh go I, I load up my file and I'm just so surprised to see wait.
Hello, can you hear me now? <laughs> can you hear me now? I don't know what happened there. Hold on. I was I was messing around with some uh, some audio settings between streams, but that shouldn't have changed that. That was weird. I said I'm surprised to see, and then nothing. It's all good. All right. Just a pure gameplay stream. What if I just did that? What if I was just, I was just silent for an entire stream? That would not be very entertaining, I would imagine. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we're back. Glad we're back in action now, though. Um, I just, I just, I was just saying, I was surprised to see 441 freaking ancient fruit in my inventory. It's, it's, I know I shouldn't be, but it's like so much ancient fruit. Holy! Don't forget about the festival. Uh, we don't really need to attend the festival today. Like the luau doesn't have that much for us. And I think we just need to focus pretty much entirely on finding this sturgeon. So Krobus only sells fish on Wednesday, which means we basically just need to like do our whatever daily chores we can do until every Wednesday. And then um and then go visit Krobus. The other thing we have to take care of is to build a new fish pond. Cuz I did some testing between streams to see if I was able to like empty any of my fish ponds without gaining any fishing experience. And I don't believe there's a way to do that because you have to like collect the produce that's there in order to interact with the fish pond and be able to empty it. So we're just going to have to build a third one, which is not that big of a deal. I'm pretty sure we have plenty of resources to make that happen with. We might need to get go collect more stone um, because a fish pond is what? It's like 100 stone, 5 green algae, and 5 seaweed. We got all the green algae and seaweed we could ever need right here. Counter. I'm optimistic. I don't think we're going to need a counter for Krobus. 200 stone. Thank you. All right. Um, I guess we can just go take care of that today then. We might as well. Because I don't want to like spend all my money on stone. Or very much money on stone. Because doesn't Robin... Does she charge like 100 gold for stone? Like that's a, that's a lot of money at this point. At this... I mean... It's, I mean... We do have a lot of money to spend, to be fair. Like, we have 441 ancient fruit that we can sell and get, like, a ton of money from. Might be 200 after year one. I thought it was, like, 20 in year one and then 100 from, from that point onward. This is not where we need to go here. The sturgeon is a 1 in 11 chance. That's a lot better than the hash browns. But the flip side of that coin is that... Ash Browns were a possibility every single day from Gus, whereas Krobus only has a, uh, we only get to visit him once a week for for fish odds. So that one in eleven, we only get to roll that die once every seven days, which is pretty rough. But we'll make it work. We'll get there one way or another. It's just a matter of time, right? We thought it doubled after year one. I'm pretty sure it multiplies by like five or something. It's 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 a crazy spike in in prices for raw materials and ores and stuff after year one. I don't know. I might be conflating something else with that, but I uh, I'm pretty sure that it's it's like multiplied by five. Some some of the prices are multiplied by five anyway. Maybe not all of them. Do we have spare seaweed for the new pond though? We do. We have like 35 seaweed just from ambiently collecting it over the past however many years. I did kind of stop collecting it partway through, because I was like, I, I don't really feel like I need this much seaweed, but I have enough for a good few more fish ponds anyway. It is 100 gold in, in year 2 plus? Alright. Yeah, like I feel like getting the stone this way, it's going to take a little longer for sure, but I think it's worth saving the money because, like, if we had to buy 200 stone, that's twenty thousand dollars. That's like a lot of money for for stone. Okay, the secret note. I should not check this secret note, right? Not right now, at least, because there's a chance it could give me a uh, the, like the chi quest, and then I would like ruin my floor 100 skull cavern forever. Infection randomizer tagline. It's just a matter of time, pretty much. Hello, by the way, Wickedy. Hello. Good to see you, as always. It's always just a matter of time. No ma if you have all the time in the world to spend, you can do anything in Stardew Valley.
And call me crazy, I actually really like grinding for stone this way. It's, it's something very therapeutic about it. it. It scratches the same itch a little bit as, like, winter tilling or clay farming or anything like that. Without, um... Without having to worry about, like, patterns or anything. You just... It's, it's much more simple-minded than that, which is... Maybe simple-minded is not the right way to phrase it, but it's simple because, like, you just... It's like, I see big rock, I mine big rock. I leave. <laughs> Unga bunga. Big rock. Big rock smash. Why does it ruin your floor 100? So right now, floor 100 is of Skull Cavern is guaranteed to be a treasure room. Um, but if we get a specific quest from one of these secret notes... That's like the Mr. Cheese challenge or whatever to get to floor 100. Then that'll change the floor 100 into the uh, Iridium Snake Milk cutscene. And it'll force us to get Iridium Snake Milk. And Iridium Snake Milk, despite not being required for perfection, is a separate goal in the randomizer. Just because I thought, I thought that would be a fun little inclusion. So, if we do that, if we happen to get that quest from a secret note then we can't go any deeper than, like, floor 99 in Skull, Cap in Skull Cavern until we roll that goal. So we don't want to risk that. I will check what this secret note is, but I will check it uh, tomorrow. So that way I can, like, reset the day without any hassle if need be. You're playing Stardew vicariously through me because you're unable to play. I'm sorry that I'm doing something so so monotonous when, when, when you're playing vicariously through me. Hope you're still enjoying it, though. By the way, something I realized is that um, we have access to paths now. We have access to a brick path, which we were allowed to craft the previous stream, which means that we have a great way of preventing trees from spawning on our farm going forward if we decide to invest in that because that is the only that now that we have the gold clock we don't have to worry about like sticks or rocks or anything spawning on the farm anymore which is very very nice but the trees do still spread but they won't spread if we surround them all with a bunch of brick paths it would it would require a lot of resources to make enough brick paths given how many trees are still on the farm but it might be a worthy investment in the future I'm probably not going to do that today. But maybe come, like, winter time or something. I don't know. We'll we'll try and make that work. That'll be a lot of stone. The brick floor recipe is... It's, like, two stone and five... Or two clay and five stone. But it makes five copies of the floor. Like, it makes five tiles that you can put down. So it's not the worst thing in the world. It's basically like a one-to-one -one with uh, with stone. Like, with this much stone, if we had enough clay for it, we could make 160 brick floors, basically. Clay farming for clay rather than money. Whoever thought we'd see the day, right? No sticks and stones will break our bones anymore. You're darn right about that. Dare I say it? You're gosh darn right about that. That's right, I said it. Alyssa, entering lurk mode. No worries. I hope you continue to enjoy the stream and uh, and your and your work. The free roam farm animals make you so happy. Me too, honestly. There is a part of me that uh, that misses our little bonsai bonsai tree enclosure that we had for them. I think it was a cute little it was a cute little setup that we had, but for the sake of the animals and. It's just nice to see them be able to roam free. They can eat all the grass they want. They're not burning through my hay supply constantly. It's very nice. I, I realize, by the way, I am at 200 stone, which is what I need for the fish pond. I'm going to keep mining until I'm basically out of energy here. Just because, like, I'm going to need more stone in the future anyway. So I might as well see that out while I'm here. At least until the point that we get uh, that we run out of energy. Then it's probably not worth sticking around too much longer. Can someone summarize the plan slash what we are doing? I got you, Lissy Beer. Uh, we are going to... We are trying to ship caviar. To ship caviar, you need to age 
sturgeon roe in a preserves jar. We have the preserves jar. We do not have the sturgeon roe. To get sturgeon roe, you need to put a sturgeon into a fish pond, which requires two things, a sturgeon and a fish pond, as I'm sure you could probably gather. Um, so we're currently acquiring the stone to build the fish pond, which is the only resource that we're missing from it. So that will, that, that'll be the easy one taken out of the way. And then after that, we're going to be checking in at Krobus's shop every Wednesday, because every Wednesday, Krobus has a 1 in 11 chance to sell 5 sturgeon. And once we get that, then we'll be able to put the sturgeon in the fish pond. We'll wait for them to give us some row. We put that row in the preserves jar. We ship the caviar gold on. Hopefully that is, it's about, it's about as straightforward as it gets. It's, compared to some of the things we've had to do previously in the challenge, this is like a two-step plan. This is not so bad. The two steps might be a bit long, but it's, uh, it's all right. This is not a completely experience-free goal, unfortunately. No, there's no way to get caviar experience-free other than um, the traveling cart, which is not allowed in this challenge. You're confused about the secret notes? Let me worry about the secret notes. <laughs> Just know that there's a reason that we're not collecting them right now, because it could contradict our... Or it could make... It could make grinding skull caverns more difficult in the future if we need to, like, go back for treasure rooms or anything like that. So we're avoiding checking any of them for right now. I will check them, like I said, tomorrow to see if we get the, get the cheat quest or not. And then I can just reset and save that secret note for, for a later day. You can hover before you read. I don't, like, I don't think you can. <laughs> it's old and crumpled, but if you look close, you can make out the details. Like, it's not giving me any intel here. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty, I was pretty sure that that was not the case. Like, I think once you've discovered the secret note the first time, then it'll tell you what it is, maybe. Because you'll be able to just, like, look at it and it'll be like, secret note 18 or whatever. But before you've found the secret note, then it's... Well, I guess you would never get the same secret note multiple times, so that's kind of a moot point anyway, but... Alright. Let's go ahead and put that away. I'm gonna go ahead... Robin will be open tomorrow, so we can go ahead and just get the fish pond then. I'll just bring all my stone, why not? All the stone, put these secret notes to the side. Uh, what else do I need for a fish pond? I need stone. I need... Uh, green algae and seaweed. Is that it? For some reason, I felt like I need clay as well. Hey there, Holus. Welcome on in. Can I read them at the start of the day? That's my plan, yeah, is to read them to see if they're safe, and then if they're not, then I can reset and stow them away for later. No clay? Okay, so this is pretty much it then. Thank you, thank you. All right, let's stop these secret notes from burning a hole in my pocket. I hid something behind the community center. That's easy. And all right, those are both uh, totally safe secret notes. We have access to a few little extra goodies as well now. Is this the secret behind the community center? That's the Junimo statue, right? That could be a fun little, fun little thing to go get. Just stone, algae, and seaweed. Alley, hello, is that a mod I see? <laughs> a note for another strange doll. We don't talk about the strange doll fiasco of, uh, of 2023. For those who didn't see our, our speed run the other day to get the dwarf translation guide as fast as possible, you may not know what the heck I'm talking about, but trust me, you don't want to know. <laughs> That secret note will actually be pretty helpful, though, for the future, because that's like a guaranteed strange doll, which are otherwise pretty tough to find. Collecting for a cursed dollhouse. I'm role-playing as, uh, as Annabelle from, from the horror movie Annabelle. If I spend enough time with these strange dolls, maybe I will become a strange doll. How's our hay situation, by the way? 621. We could probably start scything some of this grass before too long, because we are officially out of hay in our reserves. So 
So we could probably start scything this and then and then maybe put down some like brick flooring if we need to to like because the grass does help to prevent the spread of trees for right now. Might as well just ship this I can. So like why not? Just get a little extra pocket change. You believe in me to become a strange doll? Thank you very much. It's been a lifelong aspiration. And one day I'll get there. Just gotta have enough optimism. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this Junmo statue. It might be it might be harder than than I thought. Okay, no, the debris doesn't spread that far, thankfully. <laughs> Wait, it said it hit it behind the community center, but this is not the community center anymore. Does it still have... Do we still get... Wait, I can't... I can't get through here. <laughs> okay. This is this is a little awkward. I guess we'll go around the long way. Sneak on around here. Pickle Jar Rag is somehow a very fitting song for this, by the way. <laughs> or the, for whatever, for this, like, I'm just trying, it's, it's like a comedy of errors right now. I need my Junimo statue. Hello, Junimo statue. Where is it? I'm clicking. I'm cli I never remember where this thing is. Perfect song for sneaky business, exactly. Oh, we got it. All right, Stone Junimo acquired. Perfect. We can go. That yo, that's perfect to oversee the uh, the Junimo huts. They'll have their own little Junimo like uh, like worship shrine. It's like a little fountain. That'd be cute. All right, I'm going to construct a farm building, please. Where are my fish ponds at? Perfect. Benny Dreamly, welcome on in. Lots of people coming in right now. Hello, Benny. Hello, Be Bex. Hello, Gray. I know you, you guys have been here for a minute, but I saw you saying hi. All right, where are we going to put this fish pond? We are, we are spoiled for choice pretty well, so we don't have to put it, like, too far away. Probably, ooh, we could sneak it in right there. Although that kind of blocks, that's a path we use a lot to get down to, like, the the barns and coops and stuff. Maybe just over here by the uh, by the mushroom cave is okay. I'm willing to lock it in right about there. That feels that feels fine by me. Keep company with the lone meteor. The meteor's got a silo friend now. They're not entirely alone. Now they've got a they've got a fish pond across the pond from them. Or they will very soon. Man, do you think Linus is ever gonna find that blackberry basket on his own? <laughs> Poor guy has been without a blackberry basket for literally like, like 12 and a half years. <laughs> oh man, he's probably just resorted to, you know, he probably got another basket by this point, I would, I would hope. Alright, uh, I should go get that supply crate actually, why not? I saw it and then I'm like, I'll go get that later. And then I was like, why would I get it later? That's, that's foolish. Ooh, hello fresh. Are we going to fish a sturgeon or buy one? We are not allowed to fish a sturgeon because we haven't had that that goal in the past. If we haven't caught it previously, we're not allowed to catch it until the randomizer gives us the goal to do so. I'm going to go put my stone Junimo in its place of uh, proper persistence, by the way. Your mouth is a blackberry basket? I can respect that. Blackberry is definitely an S-tier berry. All right. There we go. Y'all gonna watch over the, the Junimo plush and the stone Junimo. And the stone owl. It's just, it's a very well overseen little work site here. They're doing great. We've gathered all the Junimos together in one place. And unlocked the Junimo sword. Not really, but that would be wild. The stream is the perfect stat. It's the perfect time to dust off a classic song like a sturgeon. It is oddly fitting, right? Who knew we'd always come back to a sturgeon? Maybe if we actually find the sturgeon today, then I can I can I can indulge that. 
You'll have blackberry jelly. I don't know if I've ever had a... Uh, had blackberry in jelly form, to be honest. Excuse me, Pi. I just want to thank you. I think I would like it for sure, though. Did anybody see Concerned Apes post about the Stardew Valley cookbook coming out? I did not see that, actually. That'd be really cool. Oh, man. Will we, will we finally get an answer as to what the real-life analog to Void Mayonnaise is? Dude, I want to cook a strange bun so bad, you don't even know. But I don't know what Void Mayonnaise is in real life. He has a, re there's a recipe for it. Oh my gosh, strange bun recipe incoming. That would be so gross in real life, though. Isn't the strange bun recipe, it's like void mayonnaise, a periwinkle, and like flour or something like that? <laughs> it's like, like the void mayonnaise is not the only like sus part about that recipe for sure. Yeah, the periwinkle is definitely going to be... I don't know if you... Can you just go to a grocery store and buy periwinkles? Is that a thing you can do? You want it more than anything now? Posted in the stream discussion. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Palindrome. I appreciate that. I will be checking that out post haste for sure. We got down here. Banana pudding. Probably worth it, honestly, but I'm not real willing to get rid of anything here. So I'm going to go ahead and come back for that probably. Use a periwinkle flower instead. These, oh my gosh, you hear all these? Oh, there's one little bonsai tree that survived the, the bonsai tree purge. I didn't even realize we left one here. Well, you know what? You deserve it. You deserve to survive. If I missed you the first time around, then you've you've earned your right to stay. Lucky bonsai tree. You made tropical curry once and it was surprisingly good. Using like the Stardew Valley recipe. Or like as close of an analog to it as you can get. It's that, it seems like it would be good, yeah. I love a good curry. Spicy food is my jam most of the time. Although, funnily enough, I've never tried spicy jam, even though I know it's a thing. Like, hot pepper jelly is something you can get in real life. It's not just a Stardew Valleyism, I'm pretty sure, right? We are running perilously low on goat milk, by the way for our goat cheese production, so I should probably take care of that before too long. By the way, is our... Did I miss cask day? I missed cask day! You know what? I'm gonna let it ride back until Wednesday. I'm gonna... I'm just, I know we're gonna miss out on some profits. Potentially. Maybe not even, because, like, we're gonna have so many casks that we can fill up anyway, because a lot of them are empty a lot of the time. Um, but I want, I want it to line back up on Wednesday, so I'm not confusing myself anymore. You make jalapeno jam and hot pepper jelly. Ooh. That sounds absolutely like... I, I'd like... I don't know. In principle, I've, I would not expect jelly to ever be spicy. But if I was going into it expecting it to be spicy, like knowing that it was going to be spicy, then I'd probably be okay with it. Iridium mangoes. And more, more than that, I would not just be okay with it. I would probably really quite enjoy it. I am a spicy food aficionado. Self-proclaimed. Alpino jam is good on a burger. I didn't even think about that. That's the thing is I didn't I can't I was just like wasn't even thinking of like what are the applications for spicy jam. I was just thinking of like how good would it be on its own. But on on burger is probably probably the best way to go about it, right? Isn't that more of a chutney than a jelly? I don't know what a chutney is, to be to be honest with you. So I'm not qualified to answer this question. As far as I know, Chutney is a character in Campaign 3 of Critical Role, and that's about it. Alright, we'll save that. Actually, we'll swap that out like that, so we're using the lower quality ones. Then we'll go ahead and put those away, so we can just sell them outright. Sell everything outright. Go to Pierre's Strike by Night. It depends on the viscosity. As many things do in life. Alright, I'm off to Sleepy by Time.
All right, that was a very productive day, honestly. And we sold a single red mushroom to cap it all off, because why not? Technically Chetney, not Chutney. You're so right, it is Chetney in Critical Role. I'm a fake fan. I haven't, I'm not caught up on Campaign 3 of Critical Role. I would like to be, but I, there's just not enough time in the day. It's, it's the, here's the thing about Critical Role, it's one of those that I'd like, it's like long form content, like they're, they're, they're VODs, right? So they're like very long, like four to five hour VODs a lot of the time. They're very good. And the type of content that I would normally like want to put on in the background and just like listen to. But Critical Role is so enrapturing and engaging that I like, and like, that if you're not paying attention to it fully, then you can like, you can get lost and it's hard to like focus on other things while it's on. At least that's my own personal opinion. think chutney is chunky is chutney is it does it go like does it go like uh like jelly slash jam whatever you might call it marmalade chutney are they all on the same spectrum because i know marmalade marmalade is like jam adjacent but it's more pulpy than than jam right i guess i already pet pie Onion chutney is awesome. Chutney also is, I guess, is is more savory. Because you would never have, like, an onion jam. I guess you c could. <laughs> no, no one's stopping you, I suppose, but... Marmalade is citrus. Is marmalade always specifically citrusy? I haven't had marmalade in a very long time. I remember having a negative experience with marmalade. When I was a child, we went to a restaurant. It was like a breakfast restaurant. And I spread some marmalade on my toast because I thought it was just like a type of jam. And then I was it was it was like a different flavor profile than jam than what I was expecting, and I was very upset. I was like six years old, but it was enough to like to scar me. I was like, no. I mean scars may be a strong word. <laughs> it's only marmalade. But I've uh, I've never been inclined to try marmalade since then. It's probably good though. Onion jam also great on a burger. Onion jam sounds like a, uh, a song from an avant-garde country, country folk rock band. Want to know an adorable reason why Chetney's last name is Pocopy? Is it a spoiler or is it just cute? This will determine a lot about my answer. Ancient fruit jelly for the road. I forgot. We can ship our jelly now. Gooey. Cute behind the scenes reason. I'm all ears then. I'm all ears for sure. Yeah, I forgot how much our, our like, options to ship have, have opened up. Well, I guess they haven't opened up that much. We only got Batwing and... We got Batwing, Salmonberry, and Jelly unlocked as shippables now. Jelly is the only one of those that's going to see any prominent use, I would think, as far as, like, actually helping us. But, you know, the more the merrier. The more options we have to ship stuff, the better off we're going to be overall. Travis got the last name for Chetney because his son say saying that as a baby as he was learning to speak. Oh my god, Pocket P? <laughs> oh, that's so cute. As he was learning to So it's like one of those things, it's not even like real word. It's just a little, like, baby speak. That's really, that's very wholesome. Makes me think of the episode of Friends where Rachel's convinced that Emma said her first word and Ross is like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, what was her first word? And it's like, she said Gleba! <laughs> and, then, and then they're arguing over whether Gleba's a word or not. Gleba! Most of the difference between marmalade, chutney, jam, jelly, fruit, butter, and preserve, preserves, etc. is the level of sugars and the level of pectin added and consistency of the fruit slash vegetable added. Can we get some Argon Smart for Wickety right there? That's a... 
That's a doctorate level thesis on on jam, jelly, and marmalade right there. The more you know. Learning so much in this stream. You preserve a lot? I could I couldn't have guessed. Couldn't have guessed. <laughs> you hide it so well. <laughs> No, I love that's what that is one thing I love about streaming a lot is just like hearing like things I never would have thought I'd learn about. Like jelly and jam preserves and stuff and like and just getting to learn about that stuff. Having so many people all together in one place sharing knowledge, it's a it's a beautiful thing. I'm a lifelong learner and proud. Any lifelong learners in chat? People who appreciate learning for its own sake? Gonna leave that wine just so we reset everything on our on our Wednesday cask day, like it was previously. I just wanna, I wanna have a level of consistency there. You can geek out on pickles, lacto fermentation, and cam and kombucha. I don't really know what kombucha is, to be honest with you. I see it around, and I'm like, and people like rave about it all the time. I still don't really know what it is. It's like pickled cabbage or something, isn't it? I am I thinking of something else? That, that I'm thinking of kimchi. Kimchi is pickled cabbage. Kombucha is something else. Old tea, fermented tea. Okay. Kombucha is fermented tea. Maybe that's why I get so like confused about why uh why what why so many people like kombucha because I conflate it with kimchi in my head. Like at our liquor store, we sell we sell like little like canned kombucha drinks, and every time I see them, I'm like, why would anyone want that? I don't want to drink cabbage juice. <laughs> but but no, it's kimchi. I, maybe that's uh oh I, I grabbed the ancient fruit wine. It's okay, it's fine. We off by like one day. It's not a big deal. Yeah, kimchi is the cabbage, kombucha is the is the fermented tea. Why you why you all like canned cabbage? It's it always struck me as so weird, but you know, maybe it makes it makes a little bit more sense now. <laughs> all right. Today it is Wednesday, my dudes. Oh, I think we forgot to. I've, I've forgotten about Ancient Fruit Harvest Day as well. Is Ancient Fruit Harvest is on Tuesday? It might be on like Wednesday now. I don't know. It's it's kind of all over the place with the Ancient Fruit Harvest. To be fair, it's not as imperative that we get that we hit every Ancient Fruit Harvest Day specifically anymore. As long as we get like the bulk of the Ancient Fruits, we're doing all right. Wednesday is a very important day, not only for casks, but for Krobus as well. Make it Wednesday to have it all line up. That would be very nice. Is there a way for me to, like, finesse the, uh... Oop. Get this going. Get this going and get this going. Is there a way... I don't think there's a way for me to, like, finesse the, uh the Ancient Fruit Harvest Day to change it to Wednesday, like, on purpose, though. Next year, I can wait for the Ancient Fruit. Next year, yeah, we can do that, but... This year, we're gonna just, we're just gonna have to let sleeping Ancient Fruits lie. Rain Totem would be one way, I guess. There is some ancient fruit that they're harvesting on Wednesdays. I, we can just come down on Wednesdays and, like, check what ancient fruit they've harvested. Whether or not it's the actual harvest day. Like, we're still getting... We're still getting ancient fruit out of it. Alright. But now the most pivotable... Pivotable? Pivotal? Uh... Chore of all. Chopping trees. But once we get that one out of the way, then we can go visit Krobus. For the actual most pivotal... Pivotable. Why do I keep saying pivotable? Pivotal. Pivotal. Goal of all. We can't pivot off of this goal. It is not pivotable. It is it is pivotal. It is crucial. It is vital. It is imperative. It is of the utmost importance and all other such synonyms. 
Do you have ac do you have access to rain totems? I believe so. I think we actually have four right here. Yeah. We can't craft them, but we can get them from Skull Cavern, which is the main way that we've. I think the only way we've got gotten those ones. If I go to sleep on Tuesday fast enough, it might have it might become Wednesday for the uh, for the harvest. That's true, actually. Yeah, that's probably the best way to do it. Is just like skip everything else on Tuesday one day and then uh, try and sync it up on Wednesday nicely. Either way, we're like we're halfway through the year anyway. We only got like six more harvests to go. It's uh, probably not worth finagling with it too much. All right, here we go. Sturgeon. Are we going to get first time lucky? Well, technically second time lucky because we did check him once last stream. All right, come on. Krobus, I'm rubbing my hands together. I smell some fish, but I'm not my my sniffer is not distinguished enough to tell what type of fish it is. I'm going to have to see. I find things here and I sell them. Care to buy anything? Five magnets. I didn't even smell the fish right. <laughs> Five magnets. It's the worst of all worlds. All right, well, rip. I guess I'll buy these recipes while I'm here. Because, like, I'm going to have to buy them eventually anyway. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and vamoose. I was going to dr actually drop by Pierre's to try and sell some stuff to, like, boost up my, my money a little bit. Because it's, it's running a little low. Pierre is closed today, unfortunately. Next week, sing before going. What would I possibly sing? I can't think of a song that's that's specific to the sturgeon that would call the sturgeon out to us. There's, there's no song that exists, I'm pretty sure. Used magnets also smell like fish. I suppose they would, yeah. And probably the ones that Krobus is selling are used. Because, like, he found them... He says he found them in the sewer. Which implies, like, a few things. I don't know who's flushing magnets down the toilet. Sounds like something Vincent would do, honestly. We can buy the wallpaper catalog with no concerns for the clock now. True. True, we can. But I'm not in a decorating mood. I'm in a productivity kind of mood. And the wallpaper catalog is not productive yet. But eventually we'll get a little siesta where you can just, like, sit back and decorate and stuff. For right now, I'm amped to get this sturgeon. You sure this will be faster than the gold clock? If this was not faster than the gold clock, I would be very concerned. That would be a long time waiting on one sturgeon. I mean, who knows? Like, that's the thing about uh, randomness, is that we could go years without ever seeing a sturgeon from Krobus. It's just, it could just be, like, really bad luck, but in all likelihood, probably not. Is that the new age panning for gold? Panning for magnets? Magnets, how do they work? Oops, wrong. That's where I want to put my jades there. On days where we need to wait for stuff, you like mini decorating bits? There will probably be plenty of those in the future too, actually, with like other goals. That's a good idea, actually, Miss Palindrome. Is like, like, if we have like to wait on a, like, fish or something. Like, if we have a fishing goal to, like, say, catch a super cucumber, and we have to wait until, like, late in the day, we could, we could spend some of that time earlier on in the day, like, decorating if we need to. Do we need to buy any recipes from Gus? Possibly, but none that come to mind. You had a period of not of Krobus not selling the fish you needed for over three years. Just saying, Mary Pro, Beatrix is built different. I trust that she's gonna be able to 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 strike a deal with Krobus when we're not looking, and we're gonna get that sturgeon nice and early. But <laughs> hopefully, hope hopefully you suffered the burden of that bad luck so that Beatrix can can thrive. Thank you for your sacrifice. 
Why can't we just fish the sturgeon? Uh, as part of the randomizer, we're only allowed to fish, like catch a fish, if the randomize, if the current goal of the randomizer is to catch that fish, or if we've caught it previously as a part of a different goal. And since we've never had the goal to catch a sturgeon yet, we have to find a different way to get a sturgeon. This is pretty much the only way. If only check checking trash didn't take so much longer. I verified on the uh, garbage can page on the wiki, and it, it turns out that Sturgeon is not available from trash cans, according to, to that. Unless I missed something on there, but it, it didn't seem like it was available. Which is news to me. I always thought that like all seasonal fish were available from trash cans, but it's not the way not the way of the world. Otherwise I'd be I'd be down to do that trash grind for sure too. Just to just to bolster our odds a little bit. How funny it would be if the next goal was to catch a sturgeon. The randomizer does love that cosmic irony. I wouldn't even be mad, I would just laugh. My six-year save file just broke on you. It says you're in spring one, year one. What the heck? Hello, by the way, Poyle. That's that sounds like a very I don't know I don't know how that would happen. That sounds like a very strange bug. I'm sorry to hear that. You might be able to use mods to to bring yourself back to the back to the day, or like something like that, back to the previous day that you were on. But it sounds rough. Unless you're playing on like Switch or something like that, in which case you might be out of luck. How long do I think it'll take to get the caviar after the surgeon? Not long at all. <laughs> in comparison to the hunt for the sturgeon itself, Indiana Jones and the hunt for the silver sturgeon, I don't think it's going to be a long process by any means. What about the traveling cart? Uh, the traveling cart is not allowed in the randomizer. It's just part of the rule set that I'm that I'm playing with. I'm not allowed to buy anything from the traveling cart specifically unless, except for the rare seed, because it's the only place to get it. Traveling cart, it just makes things, too, it makes a lot of things too easy. It makes it so that too many of the things that you have to do for the randomizer just rely on, like, checking the traveling cart over and over and again until you find what you need. Which is not my preferred play style, at least not for this challenge. Wouldn't it just take three days? Day one, put a fish in. Day two, collect row. Put the row in the, in the preserves jar. Day three, collect profit. In theory, that could be how it goes, but there's no guarantee that we get the row immediately once we put the sturgeon in the fish pond. It shouldn't take very long. Like It'll probably only take like a couple days at most. But that's that's the kind of X factor as to whether or not we can get this, the caviar that early is how long it takes the surgeon to actually produce that row for us. And yeah, caviar prob probably also takes quite a while to ferment. I don't know how long specifically. And maybe I should maybe I should stop making ancient fruit jelly just so that our preserves jar is ready when the caviar or when the surgeon row rolls around. I don't know if that's a smart idea or not. It's probably not that not that uh, relevant to all things told. Worst comes to worst, I sacrifice, like, one ancient fruit jelly to, to swap it out for caviar instead. But we probably won't even need to do that, because we'll just, like, we'll get the sturgeon, we'll put it in the fish pond, we'll wait for the, for the row, and hopefully by then, whatever ancient fruit jelly is in there, we'll have already processed anyway. Six thousand minutes. This hour takes six thousand minutes. Six thousand in-game minutes, though. If it was six thousand real minutes for one caviar, I would have some some questions for concerned ape. All right. Another Wednesday rolls around. 
song, song, song. It doesn't feel right yet. It doesn't. The song possibility does not feel right. I feel like I need to see the sturgeon. I feel. I feel like I can't sing the song to beckon the sturgeon in. I feel like the song has to be like a celebration for when the sturgeon finally arrives. Although I might change my tune depending on how long this takes. <laughs> Because otherwise, I'm just going to be singing, like, I finally made it to the lake. I'm going to be singing that every Wednesday. And then it kind of loses its luster, right? Also, I should probably put this wine in a, in a cask, right? Yeah, the sturgeon also only produces rose, so that's, uh, we don't have to worry about any ancillary products that could get in the way and give us, like, extra ex fishing experience that we don't need. That is one saving grace that comes with this goal. When do I think the Price Perfection video will come out? You'll love, you'd love to see it. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. Um, right now, I'm in the midst of working on a separate challenge video that I've been working on for a very, very long time, but is hopefully coming to fruition sooner rather than later. Once I finish that one, I'm going to put as much effort as I can into the other things that I've that I've promised, like the Price of Perfection stuff, the, uh, the videos for randomized perfection that you're watching right now, like the more edited, condensed version of those. And for those ones, I'm probably going to do, like, less highly edited stuff, because the challenge you're going to see that I've been working on for a very long time, the the Master Angler Challenge video that I've been teasing for however long. It's like, it's a lot of work. It's it's There's a lot of edit, editing going into that one. I don't think I'm ever going to be able to undertake a project quite that big in the foreseeable future again. For my own, for the sake of my own time and productivity and not posting like only one video every like three years. <laughs> Yeah, the Iron Man challenge, I want to get back to that one too, but it's just, I don't know, it's like, <laughs> I have I have too many plates spinning right now. I've, I've set myself up for that. I have too many ideas, and I'm trying to focus on them all. And it's, it's not been a great idea, but we're gonna, so I'm just taking things one at a time. I'm focusing on like, right now I'm focusing on streaming the randomized perfection, because I'm having a lot of fun with that, and I'm focusing on editing the Master Angler video, and those are where my main focuses are lying right now. So hyped for the release, thank you. Looking, I'm looking forward to sharing it with uh, with everyone when it's, when it's finally ready. I'm enjoying the process of editing it, but it is, uh, I mean, no matter how much you enjoy something, if you've been doing it for like over, if you've been focusing on like singularly on one thing for as long as I have been on on that challenge, eventually it's gonna start to start to weigh on you like an albatross around your neck. Any updates on the Master Angler editing percent progress? It's hard to say right now. Uh, I would say probably we're at like 70% edited, maybe like 65, 70% if I had to put a number on it right now. But it could, it could be less, could be more. It's in a bit of a weird spot right now as far as the actual state of editing where it is. But and it's hard, to, it's hard for me to describe why without, without uh, spoiling parts of what it's going to be like. But that's that's where I would probably put it. Hello, by the way, purple. This this sturgeon from Krobus is for you. It's a tiger trout. Rip. The only fish I can put in a fish pond that won't reproduce on its own. You hate to see it. All right. On toward, onwards to next Wednesday. Let's do it. The no leveling video is one of your favorite Stardew videos. Thank you so much. I, I worked very hard on that one back in the day. That was uh, that's a long time ago now, but it's uh, it's still. Other than this master angler video, it's the video that I've that I put the most time and effort into, and it is uh, I'm still proud of it to this day. Now with everything I've learned editing wise, I look back on it and it, it looks somewhat amateurish to me, <laughs> but you know it's an important stepping stone in the process of like learning. The ways of editing. Avatar, the way of editing.
All right. We're good to lock it in, right? Yeah. How long am I streaming today? I might... I'm probably going to go, like, somewhere between three and four hours. I don't know exactly just yet. I don't want to go, like, super long today because I have to... Uh, like I said, I'm leaving on family vacation tomorrow. And my flight... Get this one. My flight leaves at 6 a.m. And the airport wants us to be there three hours early. Like, why? <laughs> like, what's the purpose? Why do you need me there at 3 a.m.? <laughs> it's so bad. It's, it's just like, like... It's not even like, like an international flight or anything. Like, we're visiting family that is, uh, like, within the same country. Airport lines have gotten crazy long. I, I've, I guess I haven't been to an airport in a very long time. I don't travel very, uh... I don't travel very often. So my my experience might be tinted by not having like gone on a flight in like close to 10 years probably. <laughs> Waiting is very important for the full airport experience. Don't I know it? That's all I remember about so many of my airport experiences is just literally waiting. Waiting and being hungry and visiting the nearest like Arby's or something for for food. Your BF had to pay for for his luggage because he wasn't there, because he wasn't there two hours before his flight. <laughs> I don't get it. Uh, like I'm sure they have their reasonings for wanting people to be there multiple hours before the flight, but from the from the cons consumer perspective, it's just like it's egregious. It just feels like they're like like yanking your chain. They're like. Lol, he actually showed up three hours before his flight? Does he really think we need that much time? Got him! Enjoy falling asleep on and off for the next three hours until you get your boarding announcement, sucker. And then sit on the plane for 45 minutes while we deal with delays. Just fly private, basically no waiting. Like a private jet? Sounds like it would be significantly more expensive. <laughs> if you can pull it off, then then sure. Or maybe there maybe there are private ways to fly that I'm hitherto unaware of. I'll just buy my own dang plane. I'll ride a drone. The last time I flew anywhere it was out of a tiny airport. And we got there an hour early and, and got through in 15 minutes. The tiny airports are the way to go. If you can, like... Like, the like the big international airports are always the ones where you have to wait super long. Because they have so much, like... They have so much going on. They're juggling a lot of balls all at once. The little tiny airports. Obviously, you're not going to be able to fly as far with them a lot of the time. But if you can get away with it, absolutely do. I love those little airports where it's, like, one room... And everything's just packed into that like one room. It's like a it's like a building that's like no bigger than a house a lot of the time. <laughs> Maybe that's a bit of an exaggeration, but still, I love those those cozy little. It, it feels like a like a like a small business, but an airport form, which I guess it basically is. Welcome on in, Cobalt. Good to see you. Never been on a plane? I mean, if you don't ever have to go on a plane, if then there's like... Uh, oh, we're out of hay. That... Wait, we were at like 300 hay not, not long ago. Uh, man, that vanished fast. Okay, we. I guess we should probably start scything today. <laughs> Whoopsie. Take advantage of the, of the grass that we currently have. They were hungry. Sorry, they were hungry. Hungry. Hungry, one step up from hungry, one step down from hangry. I do have 60 animals, but they, like, they've been allowed outside to eat the grass. I thought they were just eat eating away all the grass and, like, saving me hay, but I suppose not. 
All right, here we go. At least I don't have to worry about this grass, you know. I don't have to worry about uh, debris anymore, so. This grass has effectively served its purpose. 07 to the grass. We're probably not ever going to plant this much grass ever again. There's not really a need. It would be cheaper, even if we want to buy grass to, like, feed the animals, it would be cheaper to just buy all the hay we need. <laughs> but thank you for your service. The end The end of the grass era has arrived, officially. Gold, Golden Scythe is also its own goal, yeah. It's gonna feel so weird wandering around here without, like, grass all- literally all over the place. It's been such a mainstay for so long. Like, I can't even- I can't even fathom it. It already- it already looks weird, like... Like, I'm used to not seeing grass in the winter, and that's about it. And now, seeing it like this in the summer is, like... Feels like I'm doing something wrong here. But it's only, it's only right because it's been so wrong for so long. Thank you to the Golden Clock for making this possible. Why are we cutting up all the grass? We were down to zero hay. And I figured we might as well use this to, to bolster that, right? Rather than buying it all. Ooh, hello fresh. Bonsai tree, you get to stay. Stardew grass is so pretty, but it makes you slow. I agree on both fronts, honestly. In that, in that I do not enjoy the slow walking, although I've gotten used to it over the course of playing this challenge. Um, you know, I'm going to leave some grass down here. Because this is close enough to the animals that they can probably benefit from some of this. So I'm just I'm going to leave like a decent chunk of grass over here. And maybe that'll save me some hay in the long run. And then we'll just go get rid of the rest of the grass up top. Yeah, I wish grass was not so, wasn't so detrimental to your speed. That would be it would be so much nicer if you just appreciate it. I, I guess you can have like little fields of grass and then have paths in between to so you can still navigate effectively. I'm just you know my perspective is tainted by <laughs> by playing the randomizer so much. AD, glad you were able to join the stream here. Welcome, welcome. Another nice thing about pads. Do you think we should invest in... Sh should we take this opportunity now? Now that we're clearing out all the grass, should we take this time to, like, start building up resources for brick paths? Because we're we, that's the only path we can craft at this point. It would take a lot of time and effort to get all the resources we need, but it would be nice to prevent the spread of trees and stuff. Do you think we should do it? You're locking the animals in now forever? No, they're still allowed outside. I don't see a reason they wouldn't be allowed outside. Decoration time? Torn between I want to run on paths and I want to go as straight as possible to my destination. That is a, uh, that's a never-ending battle, my friend. Like, how many paths, like, realistically, I would want to have enough paths... So that I could, like, cover the area around every tree to prevent the spread of seeds as much as possible. Because that's the main reason I would want to have paths around here. In order to do that, trees can spread seeds up to three tiles away in every direction. So for each tree on the farm, we would need how many? It's I mean, it's like a... That's what? It's like a 7 by 7 area, not counting the tree itself. So that's 48 tiles. That you have to cover with uh, with pathing to prevent all the seeds. 
It's not necessarily like that, because obviously there are like rocks and things around a bunch of trees, as well as other trees that block it. So it's 40, 48 is the maximum. And then 48 multiplied by however many trees we have on the farm. That's a lot. <laughs> it's like the whole farm. Yeah, but I mean, that's never turned us uh that's never turned us away before. Just because a goal seems very daunting in principle from the start. Honestly, that's what entices me forward about a lot of goals is being like, oh, it's it's it'll take a lot to get there, but you know, we might as well get started now because once we do get there, we'll feel pretty happy about it. The trees will be trapped like four city trees. Look, I'm with you. I feel a little bad about it for the trees sake, but they've had 13 long years of just pure freedom to spread as much as they want. And they'll just open air and you know what? I feel like I feel like we've we've dealt with these tree shenanigans long enough that we that Beatrix deserves a little bit of freedom from having to constantly prune this massive arboretum that she's found herself living in. Honeywell is right. It would be a lot easier to put down paths everywhere you want to go. You can always get around the whole farm on the beach because of the water's edge. So just put down paths for like the areas that we that we follow and then let let trees spread everywhere everywhere else or like continue pruning the trees in the areas that we don't put paths in. I can see the rationale there, too. But, like, what if those lines change as the farm evolves and we're not able to clear paths through the trees that have now grown? You understand, but you also don't picture it looking super pretty. Sometimes you gotta sacrifice aesthetics for... For practicality, and this might be one of those circumstances. That said, it could still look pretty. I I think there's a chance it could look it could look better than any of us surmise. Forging and mining levels, fingers crossed. You're not wrong. So that got a 660 hay. That'll last us 11 days <laughs> if the animals eat nothing but hay. All right, we're probably going to have to invest in some in some hay sooner rather than later here. Like, actually buying more hay. Did I get the fruit trees today? Time to sell some ancient fruit? I think you're right. I think it's time for a payday, just about. We've got, uh, we've got a lot of stuff here we can sell and make a decent amount of money off of. I wouldn't sell all the ancient fruit. I would sell probably a good chunk of it, though, for sure. Just cover the whole farm, farm and flooring you want to do it. I don't want to cover the whole farm and flooring. I just want to cover like 80% of it. And then we can still leave a nice little, nice little area for the animals. <laughs> Trees can't go grow fully next to each other. So you can always cut a path through them. I guess that's true. Either way, I think it is smart to invest in some pathing now that we have the opportunity to. Especially now that the grass is not going to prevent the spread of trees. So we should probably endeavor to do that. We have 75 clay. That's enough for um, 37 lots of brick floors. 37 times 5 is like 185 brick floors. So I need like 185 stone to make that work too. You can definitely get started on that though. I guess I guess how much stone-wise I have 75 paths. I mean I could the only path I can craft right now is this one, the brick floor. I'm not allowed to craft any other path. I have to use brick floor. If it's if it's one to one, yeah, it's one to one. That's true. Yeah, no. So someone wise, I have seventy seven paths right now. That's true. Yeah. 
that is accurate. Yeah, it's a one to one. I, I, I was I was confused for a moment, Pelinar, but I see what you're saying now. Yeah, because it is it is one to one because it's like five stone per five brick floors, so it tracks. Hello, by the way, Honeywell. Yeah, I feel like we're gonna we're gonna need more. Uh, we're gonna need a little more than this probably for 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 what we for whatever plans we might have. Whether we want to build just like paths to our main points of interest or paths across the like the entirety of the farm. We're going to need a lot more than that, probably. Alright, today is a festival day, but the festival is not until later. Is is Pierre open on the day of the, or on the Dance of the Moonlight Jellies day? I want to say yes, but I don't know. I, it's one of those things I always, like, forget about. Like, are shops open on a festival day if the festival is, like, late in the day? Yeah? Okay. Good to know. Because now, because we can, we can definitely do a payday today. I am totally down to do that. We've been dancing around this $30,000 mark for, like, so long at this point. I feel like we, we owe it to, to ourselves to... To build up our finances once again to to their previous heights. Yeah. Why do I feel like there's like a tree? There's like a there's like a weird optical illusion happening here with the like the overlap of these trees that makes me think there's a sapling there. But there's just not. Heyday plus heyday. Is Marnie open on Sunday? Yet another one of those things that like Marnie's schedule is forever just so fickle. I think she's open on Sunday. Okay. What can I ship? I can ship the banana pudding, the mango sticky rice, the jelly, the red mushrooms. Nothing else here is shippable. Correct? Bones. Let's just start with the shippables here. Boom, 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 boom. Are we going to get animal produce this time or not? Uh... You know what? We might as well. If we're going to if we're gonna do a payday, let's do it right. Let's do the payday the proper way here. And let's, uh... Let's just see what we've gathered so far. It's been a while. I was going to say no, because I feel like we don't need that much money, but, like... If we're if we're if we're going, why not go all the way? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna also grab some speed buffs here. I am out of coffee, it turns out, because <laughs> I was using a bunch of that for uh, for the Skull Cavern grinds earlier. But we do have a super meal, so I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of that. Let's go gather all the animal produce, shall we? Hopefully, it'll be a little bit easier to get down there into the into the buildings themselves since the animals will be roaming so free and so far. There's no way they would all congregate around the doors the same way they have. Um. <laughs> well, okay, we'll start with this one. We'll start with this one. That's an easy, that's an easy place to start. <laughs> what the heck, man? They're, it's like they're doing it on purpose now. They have so much room to roam, and they're just deciding to hang out in the most un unfortunate places possible. For me. Alright, gather all this. Call to the Lambda has been trained well. They've been organizing. Alright, oh, we can get in. We can get in, okay. Perfect. Grab all the milk to start with, and then we'll grab the woolies as well. Nearly naked beach. All right. It was rare that a void chicken of all things is, is stopping our progress here. It's okay. I'll wait. Thank you. Nice void chicken. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to bring the dinosaur eggs up as well. I don't think we have any wool in the other coop because there's no rabbits in that coop. So let's just bring all this up. They demand pets. <laughs> 
These animals are there's they're staring at me like you thought you thought that you could get away with not petting us just by letting us roam the entirety of your farm free? I don't think so, mister. Or missus, I suppose. They're talking to Beatrix. Alright, sell the dinosaur eggs. We can ship those directly. Um You know what? Let's just let's just make a let's make a run to well, maybe today can be gathering day and then tomorrow we can sell. It de it'll depend on how much time is left once we've gathered all of our animal produce here. It's still only like 10 a.m., so we might have some time to sell today. First farming level with only pets. Oh my gosh, there's so many cats. There's they're all over. Oh no! All right, I need to get into the coops. The coops are the only ones that that matter right now. Um, neither coop. Both coops are c c presently occupied. Wait. Oh jeez. Okay. The sneaky little rabbits here. Wascally little wabbit. All right, come on. Wait. We got it. Okay, we got in there. You love to see it. And we have just enough inventory space for all of this. Okay, we can go grab the uh, stackables that are in here as well. Please. It's a war of attrition. I've played this game. I've played this game a long time, animal friends. You always know how this ends. Beatrix always wins, whether you like it or not. You're not getting any pets today. Oh, <laughs> do you see that sneaky tactic from the rabbit right there? Oh my gosh, that lone rate. Ra that lone rabbit ranger almost sniped a pet out of me. That was crazy. <laughs> Alright, I have to come back for the rabbit's feet and the void eggs, and then we should be good. Now they're doing it on purpose. Like, look at how much room they- they're not constrained whatsoever. They can go anywhere they want in this entire farm. Literally, they have all the room in the world, and still, they're just they're just, they're just well trained, I guess. Thieving your love. All right, pop all these in here. One final trip. Let's make it work. I will do this as well while I'm up here. Boom, boom. All this decorating makes you want to fix your farm aesthetic. I love that. I love that this wilderness, like this, like this, like basically this farm that looks like a day one farm, at least as far as like the trees and the rocks and everything and stuff goes, because we haven't been able to clear it so much. That's just become Beatrix's aesthetic at this point. It's going to feel very weird when we actually get to like clear trees off the farm and debris and stuff and just like it's not going to feel right. To, to live on a farm that looks, like, clean. Do you want to keep the rabbit's feet now? Actually, that's probably a good call. Yeah, keep the rabbit's feet for, for gift-giving purposes rather than money because we don't need... Obviously, we're going to make lots of money anyway, so we might as well save the rabbit's feet for a more productive purpose. Good shout-out. Leave one messy corner. Do I, did I leave rabbit's feet anywhere for like gift for gift giving purposes? I think I already sold all the rabbit's feet. Where can I put what's the what's the place to put rabbit's feet, you think? A convenience fridge? Maybe. For like friendship purposes. I can get behind that. Alright. We still have some time. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get everything sold today. If we're fast enough, we actually probably could. Let's just start with all this. I'm not going to sort out, like, an Omega inventory like I had previously. I'm going to go ahead and just go off of, uh... I'm just going to sell it all sequentially, basically. Alright. Let's go. Hi-ho, Iota. Away! We might not get everything sold today, but we should get, like, a decent chunk of it. Oh, sorry, Abigail. Man, people are trying to snipe my love everywhere. Alright. Here you go, sir. This should give us already, like, a decent chunk compared to what we were at. <laughs> yeah. I mean, already almost up to $200,000. 
And that's not even one of, like, our better inventories. We still have, like, so much money to be made. This is gonna be crazy. You, ha you haven't even seen 1% of Beatrix's selling power yet. You see this gold clock? She owns it for a reason. She is no stranger to financial gain. We're going all the way. We're 875 iridium quality large milk. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is going to be nuts. And this might not even be our most profitable inventory, with given depending on how much ancient fruit we decide to sell. Boom, 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 boom. Bam. All right, quick $787,000. All right, I'll wait for it. Just give it a minute. All right, thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm so jaded to the numbers at this point. I just see them go go up so high so fast, and I'm like, yep, that sounds, seems about average. Seems about average for us these days. That's a heck of a lot of money. Marnie is closed on Monday and Tuesday. That's fine. We don't necessarily need to buy the hay toot sweet. We just need to get it. We just need to have enough money to buy the hay. Push comes to shove. Alright. Bring all this. We can almost get everything. We got some mushrooms left to sell. And then the actual ancient fruit. Is, like, we have some ancient fruit as far as the quality ones go here. But then the, uh, the real big ancient fruit stack. Just your everyday average multi-millionaire. Hey, I'm not. I'm still humble. I'm not a multi-millionaire. I'm just going to be a, a single millionaire. I don't think we're getting up to two million today. That said, <laughs> hold on. Maybe I spoke too soon. Keep some milk and fruit. I mean, we have milk set aside for uh, for cooking later on. A single millionaire? What about Haley? Haley is not Beatrix's bay. Be we don't know who Beatrix's love interest is yet. There are rumors swirling around her and, and the dwarf. But those rumors are as of yet unfounded. Alright. I'm, how much how much of the ancient fruit should I sell? I should only bring how much I'm gonna want to sell. I can probably if I just keep like I'll just keep like 44. I mean we're gonna get more anyway, but I just want to have some. You know what? I'm gonna bring it down all the way to 22. I'm gonna sell 700 ancient fruit. There we go. We got 15 ancient fruit left. We're gonna get more from other harvests anyway. We're gonna go. Why don't we just go ahead and and send it an even 700. Hey there, Jelly Oceana. Welcome on in. What about that giant stack of mushrooms? The common mushrooms? Those are our uh, energy source right now. They're probably not worth as much as it looks like they're worth, to be honest with you. The common mushrooms are not worth a, a whole lot. Eat Chanterelle? No, thank you. A quick 700 ancient fruit. Is this going to push us over 2 million? <laughs> but that was a that was like what four hundred thousand off just that one stack of ancient fruit. I'll take it. One point seven five milli. Is Marnie still open? We might be able to actually snag some hay from Marnie if she is. I don't know if she closes at five or if she closes earlier than that. Also, we need to do a little bit of clean up around. Okay, she's. She's just in... I guess she's getting ready for the festival later today. You know what? Fair. Can't even be mad about it. Wait, do you think if I wait here long enough, she'll walk by the counter? And we'll be able to to pull a quick little robin on her? Wait? Wait? No, Marnie, no! No, it doesn't work the same way. Why? <laughs> okay. Well, we'll just have to wait till when... We're going out Wednesday anyway, so it's not a big deal. Where's...
Where did all this money come from? Where else? All these animals, basically. The animals, the ancient fruit, everywhere that it came from for the gold clock, it's all those faculties are still working. We're gonna have to spend a lot of it on hay in the very near future, but... <laughs> but we'll still have a pretty sizable chunk even after that. Alright, let us get let me get my usual fare going here. Actually, I'm gonna bring... Probably don't need the scythe that much. Any well, the scythe is actually still good for certain things. I would like to carry my hoe on me, though, for artifact spot, potentially. Common mushrooms, ancient fruit, goat milk, and goat cheese as well. Alright. This is my inventory. I'm sticking to it. Marnie is way lazier than Robin. Okay. Um, should I take this time as well to go... I mean, at this point, is it worth just... Is it worth mining the stone, or should I just buy the stone for the all the flooring that I need? I've got 1.75 million. We're gonna need more money than that for future goals, but right now, we don't need that much money for, for hopefully the foreseeable future. We should probably just buy... Buy all the stone we're gonna need, right? How much clay do I have? Currently, I have 75 clay, I'm pretty sure. Um, 75 clay, yeah. Robin's a workaholic, Marnie is not. There are pros and cons both ways. 75 clay, and we're gonna need more than this. We're gonna need more... Like, I don't know what a good amount of brick floors is gonna, is gonna be for our purposes, but... It's gonna be more than that, I'll tell you that for sure. I forgot about the shippables, too. Like, we can definitely do a little bit of clay farming. That goes without saying. Like, clay f if we clay farm for just, like, a few days, even, we should have plenty of, uh, of clay to subsist our, our crafting needs. So why don't we start there, and then we can decide... Well, actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do it all... I'll do it all on Wednesday. Because I'm going to be going out anyway on Wednesday. Wednesday will be a big day. So we'll go... We'll get our hay. We'll go visit Robin, buy whatever stone we might need. And we will go do some clay farming as well. Need another 4 million for all the obelisks in Return Scepter. And 500k for the movie theater. And another 500k for Pam. <laughs> Technically, we don't have to build Pam a house, but I mean, she is one of our earliest friends. For she's been a friend with for us with us for so long, even though I haven't spoken to her in probably like a few years. <laughs> she's still a homie. Return scepter is a goal, yeah. We should build her a house that's not obligatory. I built Pam a house not asked for. Plus, you can get the shortcuts after. True, that is another, like, $300,000, but you can get the town shortcuts after that. Yeah, Pam's house is not a goal. It, was, it just wasn't one of the things I thought of when we were, uh, when I was setting up the goals. Hey there, Durmeister. I see you lurking. Uh, oh, it's gonna go out for something, but that's tomorrow. It's Wednesday that we go out. It's Wednesday, my dudes! Love the shortcuts. It's just, there, it's just a shame all the shortcuts are blocked behind, like, so much. You have to, like, fully upgrade your house. You have to buy Pam a house. And then you have to... to and then and then and only then can you buy the shortcuts. It's just, like... It's such, like, a... There's so many hoops to jump through. You will get there eventually if you're playing the game through, as, like, to its fullest. But it takes a while. They are very nice, though. Very nice just for convenience's sake. Bada boom.
You're always done with your farm by the time you unlock them. Honestly, though, right? Alright, let's go take care of the fruit trees. So it's gonna be fruit trees, ancient fruit, crobus, clay farming, buying hay, buying stone. Not necessarily in that order. I'll probably want to buy the hay first and foremost today. Just to make sure I have it taken care of. If we do end up unlocking them, it'll be a nice time save. I'm trying to think of what, what shortcuts even would save us that much time in the long run. There are some good ones for sure, but I don't know which ones actually, like, we... Like, I don't know which areas we go to often enough that the shortcuts would save us a whole peck ton of time. I really like the path between the beach and the cinder sap forest. That's one of my favorites. It just feels so right, you know? Okay. I'm going to clear out my inventory for right now so I can have enough to buy, like, a whole bunch of hay. And I'll go visit Krobus. Because Marnie's not even open yet anyway. Like, the ones on either side of the river up to the lake? Those are also really good. Just seems so fitting. And technically, you know what? We can save ourselves having to get 300 extra wood. Because we can take the shortcut from, like, up near the museum down to that area as well. So, <laughs> we still haven't built that bridge to the tide pools yet, which is pretty hilarious. Alright, Krobus. Show me something good. Are you feeling, dare I say it, like a sturgeon today? He's feeling like a shad. I mean, Krobus is definitely a chad. But he's not a... He's not a shad. Sorry to inform you. Is this in-game music? This this is not, no. It just happened to line up. Alright. Marnie, I'm here for your finest artisan hay. Let's just load up. No time like the present. I don't know how much how much hay is reasonable to have, but I filled up my inventory last time and it worked out pretty well, so why not do it again this time? Do it just literally the same way. He's a shad, a shy chad. True, honestly. <laughs> That's a portmanteau I can get behind. Portmanteau? Does it hurt to see all this money that we that we just earned evaporate away so quickly? Yes, but I know it's for the greater good. Like, we're going to make more money off the back of this hay. That's what I always have to remind myself when I'm buying this hay. By the way, thank you, Concerned Ape, for adding the uh, keyboard shortcut to buy 25 at a time of something. I was never in a position where I had to buy, like, this much of anything when, like, prior to this shortcut being in the game. But I've heard horror stories of having to buy, like, you know, an inventory full of whatever with, uh, only buying five at a time. <laughs> Hurts a lot less than it did during the gold clock grind. That's true, because this money is not, like, committed to anything just yet. It's just money that... We're, we can use for whatever we need to. You remember those days? I mean, I played Stardew in those days, but I was never, like, much of a... Like, a challenge runner or a min-max or a speed runner or anything, so I'd never had to buy, like, vast quantities of things. I was an extremely casual player. So I never remember having too many horror stories like that. One hay means your cow produces one iridium milk, so it pays. For the most part, yeah. I mean, it means it. It means that we make profit off of every piece of hay, regardless of what gets produced. It's just that the the iridium hay or the iridium milk is definitely the most profitable. 
already without the without the grass to impede them the trees are starting to run rampant i don't respect it all right i'm gonna go ahead and fill up the silo i guess i might as well have got the hay all in my inventory boom 952 pieces of hay and counting do i have enough room in my convenience fridge for all this hay definitely not well i guess once i clear up once i do a little trade off here Perfect, okay. Perfectly calculated. Tries to put hay in seed maker. <laughs> if only, right? Yo, have a good bike ride, Blue Fire. Glad I'm happy to be your background noise. Alright. Locked and loaded. Now I know I said I wanted to do clay farming next. Or that I want to do clay farming today. But, before I do any of that, well, number one, I'm gonna get rid of this. Get that out of here. I'm gonna get away from my pristine gold clock. Um, I want to actually start... Well, I guess I should start with buying stone from Robin, right? Because if that's also a time-gated thing. But what I want to do is I want to clear some debris from around the valley. Just wandering, like, by the community center up here in Cindersat Forest and seeing all this debris. I want to try and get rid of some of it. I know it's kind of a... Kind of kind of a Sisyphean task. Like, there'll just be more when we come around next time. We can't get rid of the stones anyway, but... Just for my own peace of mind. Alright. Stone. How much stone should we buy here, do you think? Should we just buy, like, a stack of stone? That's, like, $100,000 for a stack of stone. But it's probably worth it. Buy 7 million. Just buy, just buy a full stack of stone. Bite the bullet. Do it. There we go. 999 stone acquired. Saves us a decent amount of time. <laughs> and wood. We don't need wood for anything right now. The stone actually has a a designated purpose for us in the near future. We're gonna use it for um for pathing. The wood is not uh, mission critical at this exact moment, so I'm not gonna worry about it just yet. Do I have all the braziers? I don't, actually. That's a good good idea. I think we got up to, like, the skull brazier, so I think that's, like, one of the last ones, but I'm pretty sure we still need to get the marble brazier recipe. Yeah, we checked in with Krobus. He had a, he had a shad. Shy chad. Okay. Get up here, at least. It makes me feel a little better about this area. It's still, you know, not great, but <laughs> it is just the Jojo warehouse. I guess I don't have to be that concerned about its aesthetic uh, quality. No one's coming around here anyway, right? All right. Marble brazier. Is that the last one, or is that... Uh... Yeah, that is the last one. Okay. I can buy a child bed if I want to. But I think that's, uh... <laughs> we don't have to worry about that for a while in Beatrix's future here. I guess you never know with the randomizer goal, but... Alright, you know what? I'm actually gonna also... Might as well hit up all the debris hot spots here. We got one behind Jojamart as well. I'll, we actually can't get very far with this with this debris now that I'm looking at it. The stones have pretty well barricaded that area. You know what, Joja? You can you can keep your debris. You can keep all the debris you want. You're not paying me to take care of it. Why am I doing free labor around here? Let's go do Cindersat Forest. I guess the other place that would have debris is the railroad.
Like, we don't visit the railroad that often anyway, so. Mining the L would be nice next. I'm trying to parse what you mean, Benny. I do not know what you mean. <laughs> Breaking news, Argon hates trains. I hate trains that don't give me leprechaun shoes. Mining level! Okay, you're just, you're just missing the V. I got you. Mining level. I thought you were talking about, like, mining, like, stone or something. Like, 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 mining a particular resource, but then I was, like, trying to parse what resource it was, but you were talking about, like, what goal would be nice to get next, which is totally fair. Concerned Dave did a great job making Joja and the Joja Warehouse look as unappealing as possible. It's true. Like, there's, like, this whole game is so beautiful, and then you get to Joja, and you're like, oh, I don't like that. <laughs> he's, a, he's a man of many artistic talents. all this wood we're getting if nothing else like this is this is a this is a fine way to get some wood if we're not allowed to chop down trees hit me with the next best thing I guess I can still bomb trees but oh my gosh <laughs> am I even able to get into the secret woods right now if I wanted to I wonder how many stones I would have to break to get into the secret woods at this point. This is, uh, this is not looking pretty. We've run into this problem in the past as well. Welcome on in, Arabella. Good to see you. I've never seen the secret wood entrance so congested. Oh no. Oh, this is that's a so what the heck is going on here? <laughs> oh no. We got stones on top of our logs. Concerned Dave never thought anyone would let the, the forest go this badly. I feel so awful. <laughs> I can't like that's as far as I can get is like right here. Like I can get there. It goes up beyond here. I can't even like get those if I wanted to. I could get them with bombs and stuff, I guess. This this is this is horrendous. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like what's the what's the game plan here eventually? I guess I would like break one stone. I have to like break one. I'd have to break a couple stones for sure to get up to that. It's not the end of the world, but I gotta save some mining experience, I guess. Yikes! Catching a wood skip would be a bad goal to get now. Oh no! Wait, can I even use the chair trick to get in there anymore? I would need to mine like those two stones right there in order to use the chair trick. So I'm bare minimum I need to do that. Well, <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Seems like a nice place to put a path. I don't know if pathing would prevent like this type of debris necessarily. Oh, look at this. the cinder sap. It's so bad. I didn't realize how bad this place had gotten. That's a yikes from me. I've never even seen debris like down this in this section. We've let it go so terribly here. There is, there are some bits of fiber. The fiber can destroy the non-fibrous debris, but it's, it's not, it's not holding its own that well against the stone. Does grass stay outside in the farm? It does indoors. I actually don't know. 
if I were, if I were to plant grass out here, maybe something I've never really experimented with. For now, though, I, I kind of feel like it's a lost cause. Like, like the debris up at that secret woods area is so bad that I can't even, like, get through it enough to clear it. <laughs> so, like, I don't know. Maybe I sacrificed a little bit of mining experience just to... just to put some stuff down in there. Yeah, we can plant it, but it won't grow. That, that makes sense to me. I know it won't spread. But if we can plant it up there in the right spots, it'll probably still die come winter time. How much extra mining experience do I have to play with? I think I'm somewhere in like the 60 to 70 mining experience range. And each of these rocks is only one mining experience, so as as long as we don't get, like, coal from, uh, from one of the rocks, because that's the only thing we could get that would boost our experience, I'm pretty sure. So I think we have, yeah, roughly, like, 30-ish mining experience to work with, so that's 30 rocks we could theoretically break if we min-max it as best we can. The bump bump of the chopping is very relaxing. It's a very nice sound. Stardew sound design remains uh, unmatched. All right, one more mushroom to get these last few bits of wood here, and then I think that's pretty much the extent of what I can do for Cinder Sap Forest right now. Gonna have to let it run wild. I, it is a forest, you know? I shouldn't be that surprised, but... <laughs> Man, this is rough. Mining level cannot come soon enough. We're gonna, we're gonna have to be very careful with what we actually end up spending our mining level on when we actually... when we finally do get it. Like, I, do we just commit it entirely to clearing debris? I don't even know. We now have 1,076 stone, which is 1,075 brick floors, because you can only make them in multiples of five, right? So 1,075, we would need how much clay in order to make that, that many? Well, 1,075 divided by five is... Um, I can do I can do the math. I can R slash they did the math. It's 265. So I'd need like double that because we need two clay per craft of the brick floor. So that's I need like 530 clay. I'm gonna say 530 clay is what we need in order to craft enough if we were to commit all of our stone to flooring. The debris can't come back because of the gold clock, so you clear the debris. It's a smart move, yeah. On the farm, we can it won't come back. I think it'll still come back in the other areas. I don't think the gold clock prevents debris sp spread across like the entirety of the game. That would be really nice if it did, though. If I get the goal, can I only get one level until I get a second goal? Yeah, basically, if I get a mining level goal, then I'm allowed to hit mining level one. And then I'll have leeway to work with between mining level one and mining level two, but I can't hit mining level two after that. Each level is its own goal. Alright. Now let's go start the long clay farming journey of our dreams, because there's really no better way to get clay than, than clay farming, right? Might as well grab the stack so I know how much I have total. 
I need 530 if my calculations are correct. And I have like a 60% a, a uh, win rate of getting my calculations correct, so. So I'm feeling pretty confident. Yeah, that's exactly right, DW. Yeah, you got it. Because there is a goal that is catch a sturgeon, so the only way to to be able to catch a sturgeon is to get that goal ourselves, and otherwise we have to get a sturgeon a different way. All right. Is everyone ready for a little clay farming? Yeah, baby! Clay farming party on the beach! Let's go! <laughs> so the win the winter the winter forge farming is not the pattern for that does not work for clay, right? They're distinct patterns. So the six by four pattern that we've uh, come to rely on in the past is still the best way to do this one, I'm pretty sure. I didn't bring my pickaxe. I need my pickaxe to, to effectively clay farm. Oopsie. All right, clay farming party has been delayed due to unforeseen circumstances, but we'll be back in momentarily. <laughs> Welcome on in, Tyler. Good to see you. Reset? Nah, nah. Gotta save resets for specific, uh, for specific scenarios. We can't just throw them around willy-nilly. Not optimal. Where's my pickaxe at? I'm gonna dump my axe and take my pickaxe instead for right now. What if the next goal is cook fiddlehead risotto? Oh, uh, where do you get the recipe for fiddlehead risotto? Is that a, is that a is that a queen of sauce recipe? We should be able to cook fiddlehead risotto. We need to rely on a little bit of we ne we need to use a little bit of foraging experience to get a to get a fiddlehead fern, but we could would be able to make it work, right? Maybe we should build Pam House now so we can get the community shortcuts. We do have enough money to build Pam House now and get the shortcuts after that. We'd be pretty low on funds after doing all that. The only thing I need is uh is the wood, but we actually got a significant amount of wood yesterday, so we might be pretty close to pulling that off too. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, doo, doo, doo. I think it's right here. We have to retill a few times to get back on track. All right, now we should have the pattern unlock. Four, five, six, beautiful. Forever Pluey, good to see you, welcome on in. Does building a house for Pam raise your friendship with Robin or Penny? No, I think it does raise your friendship with Pam, but obviously Pam we're already at 10 hearts with, so that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't matter at all, but I don't believe it affects friendship with anybody else. I think I can do one, two, three, one, two. Can I do does this work? It does, okay. Two, three, four, five, six. It feels weird to be going back to this pattern after getting used to the, the winter forging one for so long. The clay is just a different beast. It should raise it for Penny, too, because she also lives there. I think the rationale is that uh, Penny might not live there if you're married to her. So it doesn't give you the friendship hearts just in case, but it probably could work on a case-by-case -case basis as well. I agree with that. Like, whether Penny is still living there or not, that could be... 
It, it would make sense for sure. Would be nice to have some endgame stuff unlocked before you can even craft the Scarecrow. I know, right? Do we still have the quest to craft the Scarecrow? Reach farming level. <laughs> oh, I forgot. I didn't realize I hadn't, like, canceled this quest or anything yet. That's still the first quest in our journal, dude. <laughs> oh, it makes me so happy to see that. That's so good. Reach farming level one and craft the Scarecrow. What am, what what's possible with it? <laughs> look at what's possible without even completing that first goal? That's so funny. Or that first quest, I suppose. Well, I guess the first quest is what cultivate and harvest a parsnip, which I don't think we ever actually did. But I think we got a parsnip from some somewhere else, maybe, and then. Or maybe we did harvest a parsnip. Maybe the Junimos harvested a parsnip for us, and then that was... Maybe that, that sounds like something that may have happened. Why don't I have a pickaxe? Pretty sure I do. I can understand that, it, like... I know it, it does blend in. It looks a lot like these common mushrooms, but this is a pickaxe here. We've been down that road before. I've I've been one to mistake the the common mushrooms in my pickaxe in my inventory before as well. Whoops. So it's an understandable mistake. It's just a, it's like a rare breed of mushroom. Why are you guys hitting me with dot dot dots? They look the same. They chat. They look the same. They're literally, like, basically the same sprite. I don't even know. I don't know how you guys don't see it. Louis will be so shocked when he gets the memo that Beatrix finally made a scarecrow, and it'll be like, it's been, <laughs> it's been XX years. It's been 20 years? Predicting scarecrow in year 20? Chat, don't make don't make me bust out like the like the pixel measurements or anything like that to compare the the common mushroom and the and the pickaxe here. They're the same. They one they both have a rounded top and they both have a a brown uh, stem. The only difference is that the pickaxe is silver topped, and if you squint, then you might not even be able to. They they might not even. Had that difference, honestly. One, two, three, one, two, right there. Pickaxe is also diagonal. Uh, I'm off my pattern. Okay, three, four, five, six, like so, okay. I think go here. I broke- I think I broke my clay pattern a little bit. You know, I'm almost at energy anyway, so let's just call it a clay farming day right there. Clay farming pattern, it's- I, it takes a little bit to get used to it again after- after so long. I'm confused, why is this clay farming giving you clay? <laughs> I know, wait, what the heck? And I'm getting clay for the sake of clay instead of money? Wait. Wait, this feels wrong. Chat, this feels so wrong. Oh, did I get my ancient I don't think I harvested my ancient fruit yesterday. Yeah, where's the profits? It, it makes no sense. Make it make sense? This is supposed to, this is supposed to turn from clay into money. Look at all the seedlings. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna 
consume mushroom real quick so I can get rid of some of these seedlings as well. Step one, clay. Step two, profits. But we're stopping at step one. What a wild, wacky world we're living in. The profits come later from our peace of mind of not having to worry about little seedlings all over the place. Step two paths, exactly. I gotta be about the only person in the world that's res that chooses brick paths as their paths of choice to, like... Like, like they, I don't mind the look of brick paths necessarily, but you gotta admit, they're a strange choice given the amount of resources needed to make them. And given that they're probably still, like, I still probably would prefer the stone walkway paths as an aesthetic choice over the brick paths, and those are much cheaper to make. But you work with what you got in this, in these trying times. Is upgrading tools a single or multiple goal? They are, uh, like, singular goals. So if I get upgraded tool, then I can, or, or if I get upgraded my pickaxe, I would upgrade the pickaxe to a copper pickaxe, and that's the goal done. To be fair, I'm not choosing them. <laughs> They're being chosen for me. That's that's probably more accurate, yeah. And this is pretty much how I feel about it right here. All right. Hopefully one, well, I guess probably two more days of clay farming. We'll get we'll get the job done here. You like brick paths aesthetically, but they're kind of annoying to craft, so you rarely use them. Well, now is going to be our chance. We get to have all the brick paths we want, because that's that's all we get. <laughs> maybe I'll maybe they'll grow on me. Maybe I'll learn to appreciate brick paths more, just because I've maybe that's why I've like never really used them or grown to like them, because I see them and I see how much they cost to make, and I'm like, you know, probably not worth it. Given how ambivalent I am towards their design. I guess we can thank our lucky stars that we didn't get, like, Crystal Path as our first path or something like that. Aren't those, like, really expensive to make? <laughs> What's a cr Crystal Path is, like, what, refined quartz or something like that? Crystal Floor, one refined quartz for five. It's not terrible, I guess, but still, it would be... I don't know, would you Would you rather have to rely solely on Brick brick Floor or Crystal Path? Yeah, I feel like Brick Path is the, is the winner in that one. The winner of that tournament bracket in particular. Super cheap if you have crab pots. I guess that I guess what I'm I was just I was trying to wrap my head around like what crab pots do for you. Is crab pots like you get you get like broken CDs and stuff out of crab pots. You put those into your recycling machine and you get refined quartz back that way. Is that the rationale there? Because I'm like, how do crab pots lead to refined quartz for crystal paths? Okay, that is the that is the that is the thought process. That is, that makes sense actually, because then you skip out on having to spend like coal in order to smelt down like fire quartz or regular quartz into refined quartz, which is probably honestly the most uh, the biggest limiting factor to getting that much refined quartz is all the coal you would need. Not even the quartz itself, although I guess the quartz you still do have to like go out and collect, so that is a bit of a barrier to entry as well.
You know what would be kind of a cool upgrade I was just thinking about when I'm thinking about, like, oh man, imagining having, imagine having to get, like, all that coal and stuff for smelting or frying quartz down? What if there was an item you can get, like, late in the game that was, like, magic coal? That, like, you put it in your furnace, and then it just, like, your furnace just, like, stays lit for, like, a decent, like, not forever. I think that would be too powerful, but for, like, a significant amount of time, and you can just, like, put as much stuff as you want into it. I don't know if infinite coal would be smart. I mean, once you get late enough in the game, honestly, infinite coal might be a, a pretty good reward to, to get in some way. But yeah, kind of like a Minecraft lava bucket, exactly. Where it's just like a, a very nice, renewable source of, of fuel for your furnace. You never didn't really think about smelting quartz until you saw other people doing it. I mean, honestly, the recycling machine is probably the better way to get refined quartz overall. Actually smelting for it, it's it's more reliable because you can actually, like, consistently get quartz better than you can get, like, broken CDs and broken glasses and stuff, I find. Although, I guess if you have, like, like you said, crab pots and, and all that jazz, then maybe it's a bit, bit more reliable that way. Or something you can grow, like bamboo. Yeah, if there was a more, like, renewable source of, of coal, that would also work. Or a renew renewable source of fuel, I suppose. I should have moved my pattern down further in order to be able to take proper advantage of, of this. Oops. Okay. You know, this is starting to intersect with too much too much geometry here, too much architecture. I think we just go ahead and, and call it there and come back tomorrow and hopefully close out our clay farming. Maybe not tomorrow, but it might be <laughs> like I didn't realize how much how little clay I would get compared to what I actually need on a clay farming day. Is like if I need to be more productive with my clay farming days, I guess. Who else wears glasses besides Pierre? Maru wears glasses, right? Maru wears glasses, Harvey wears glasses, um, Mr. Chi wears glasses, Morris wears glasses, I wouldn't have thought of Morris, but you're, you're not wrong. And perhaps even you, the player, wears glasses, if you, if you are so inclined. And lock it in, right? Yeah, we're good. Maru isn't the type to lose slash break them. Sometimes it's entirely, you know, out of your control. Sometimes you're off on a, you know, you just take a, uh, take a spur of the moment kayak trip with your, with your mom and you go in and you go for over a rapid and you capsize and your glasses fall off and you like have trouble finding them for a little while after that. Unless you happen to be smart and have a flotation device tied to your glasses so that you don't lose them. That's the smart way to go about it. That sounds stressful. It was it was mildly stressful capsizing and like going underwater and like falling out of the kayak and having to like swim along with the current of the river and the river being so low that I could like feel the bottom so I was constantly a little bit paranoid about like my foot catching like a wayward rock or something. It was fun though. I still I still enjoy I still enjoy kayaking. <laughs> like kayaking I've we've only done it a few times this summer but it's been it's been really fun every single time I always I always love trying to go for the rapids it's the most exciting part and I've only I've only capsized once Oops. 
Someone stepped on your glasses once when you were at the beach. You had them laying on your towel and you walked straight over it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Like, there's so many things wrong there. Like, number one, you should, like, look where you're going and see if you're about to step on something. Number two, why was he, like, walking on your towel? <laughs> like, was it, like, a stranger or, like, someone you knew? Because if it's, like, a stranger, that's, like, so horrible. Like, I'm not, like, I'm not ever walking over, like, someone's towel, especially someone that I, like, don't know. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that just sounds like so like annoying and preventable. That's why you're wearing contacts now. Fair enough. I've only actually had my glasses broken like one time. It was when I was like, I, I a friend dragged me out to a uh, to a bar one time. I'm not much of a bar goer. I'm sure you I'm sure I seem like a crazy party animal who loves to go out to bars on a nightly basis and hang out with the buds. But it, it might surprise you to learn that that's not my style whatsoever. In fact, I'm I, I'd like to stay as far away from bars as off, as I often can a lot of the time. But if a friend invites me out and drags me out and wants to have a good time at a bar, I'm I'm inclined to say yes, just to enjoy the experience of hanging out with a friend. And when I went with this friend, we uh, we eventually there was we eventually like started dancing. It was like it was, as it got later in the night, there was like uh, like loud music starts to play. It started to become more of like a club atmosphere than a dance than a than a just a bar atmosphere, I guess. Hold on, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right here. And as we were dancing, her hand, like, just, like, she was having a great time, and she was, and she, her hand, like, flew off in the wrong direction, smacked me in the face, my glasses go flying, and they, like, break as they hit the ground. It was, uh, it was, they were old glasses, like, I was due to get some new ones anyway, so it wasn't too surprising to me that they would break like that, but it was still, like, very, like, startling when it happened, for sure. And that's why you never go outside. Moral of the story. Don't leave your house. YOLO. You only live once. It's not worth the risk. And don't travel by plane and don't travel at all. And I haven't thought about that Lonely Island song in a hot minute, actually. broken many pairs of glasses on the hinge because you'd read while lying on your side. I could see how that could happen, yeah. Well, that's fair. I think I can move this down by one here. No, that's not how that works. Okay. Um, in that case, it would be just like this. Yeah, okay, we're good. We good. What am I doing? I'm farming some clay. Not for profit, but actually just for the clay itself this time. Like this is the this is the best way to get clay probably in the game. I know you can mine those those rocks on uh, Ginger Island, like at the dig site. There are some clay based rocks over there. And that might be a decent way to get clay as well, but that comes with its own set of complications as far as mining experience goes. Everybody seems to have glasses here. I like my glasses for the most like now nowadays like I even when I first got my glasses I wasn't like averse to getting my glasses I know a lot of kids especially will be like when they're told like oh sorry you need glasses they will like cry as the day is long they'll be like no no I don't want glasses I'm gonna look like a nerd no don't make me do it mom please I'll do anything I'll do anything don't make me get the glasses no that was not me. I was like, uh, 
I was like, okay, I guess I'll like get the glasses. And then I wore them for a little while, and I was like, ooh, this is freaky, but I see better, so I'm happy for it. And then they just became like part of my face, basically. And now, and nowadays, like I don't look right without my glasses on, in my personal opinion. Yeah, I feel like a lot of the concerns that come with like getting glasses fade as soon as you realize how much the glasses help you. Like you don't realize oftentimes how much you're missing without glasses until you get the glasses. I am a nerd, so exactly. You know, it fit my aesthetic already. I was like, I should have had glasses a long time ago just for the uh, the fashion statement on its own. You mean people can just wake up and see with no help? It's not blurry. I know, right? It's, it's It sounds like science fiction, honestly. People don't need to put on their optical magnifiers to to enhance their their visual orbs. They just wake up and they can see. I need proof. Pixar, it didn't happen. You can't remember your life without glasses? I was like 14 when I got my glasses, so I definitely remember life without glasses. But most of my life has still been with glasses. I guess I guess roughly like half of my life has been with glasses at this point, which is weird to think about, but like it's just so entrenched in my in my personal wardrobe sense now that it's like I can't think of it. I can't think of a time without them anymore. Did I see your question before the glasses thing? Let me scroll up. I know you're busy, gonna be busy after stream, so I was wondering if I could host a community thing again this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. You don't, you do not need my permission, Allie. I trust you completely as a mod. You wouldn't be a mod if I didn't trust you, so I trust your judgment. Go all out. Go have some, have some fun. I appreciate you asking me, but you are, you are free to, to do so. You always want to ask first? No worries, I appreciate it. I would probably be the same way, honestly, so I, I can I can respect where you're coming from with that. You want a fantasy story where Earth where the Earth main character loses their contacts in a fantasy world and has to go through fantasy eye appointments? <laughs> There's almost certainly a story somewhere out there. That incorporates that exact sort of plot line, I would imagine. Given the robust fan fiction culture of the internet, it must exist already. I don't, it's probably, it might not be very well written, and it might be in a fandom that you do not know of, but I have to imagine a story like that is out there already. Ooh, quick little artifact spot check. I'll take that. Five bone fragments? I forgot we can get bone fragments now from these. Now that we've got our uh, our bone mill. That can come in handy. I still don't know if I want to actually use the bone mill for anything. I know you can get, like, tree fertilizer and stuff out of it, which kind of interests me, but I don't think I actually need tree fertilizer for much of anything. If any, it, like, honestly, I need a tree suppressor right now. <laughs> Rather than a tree fertilizer. Earth kid with braces needs to fi needs to find a fantasy orthodontist, and they like and they're like, "What's in your mouth?" Oh my gosh, the fantasy doctor's appointments. You could get so creative with that. You can also get speed grow. I guess that's true. Yeah, we could get some speed grow for. Can you get like the deluxe speed grow? I've never really looked into what a bone mill gives you specifically. I know it's like always random, right? It's not like you put in something specific and get something specific out of it. One, two, three, one, two. You can get deluxe. 
You know what would make bone mills more worth it to me? I'm pretty sure you can't get, like, the like the highest echelon of, like, fertilizer and stuff out of them. Like, you can't get the hyper speed grow or, like, the like deluxe fertilizer or whatever. Uh, you can probably get, like, maybe quality fertilizer out of it, maybe. But you can't get, like, the highest tier stuff out of it. If it was an alternate way to get, like, that super high tier stuff, that would be pretty hype, honestly. I'd be so down for that. How much floor are we making? I bought a stack of stone, and I intend to make it all into floors. So we're pretty much at the amount of clay that we actually need. I might as well finish this day of clay farming since I'm down here anyway. It's not going to hurt to have extra clay for the future. But I basically have everything I need now. And we're just going to see how far that, like thousand pieces of brick path can take us, basically. None of the fertilizer speed grower in the shipping collection, so I can't- I can sell them. That's true. Although a lot of the bone stuff- actually, I think all of the bone stuff I can actually sell now. You might say, oh, you can't ship bone fragments. Au contraire, we actually got the ship bone fragment goal like way back when, so I can't- so I technically can ship the bone fragments directly, although they probably aren't as profitable, maybe, as some of the fertilizers. So maybe there's some profit to be made there. Either way, it's probably better to put your, like, excess bone items that you don't really need or care about into a bone mill rather than just selling them, because they don't make that much money on their own anyway. Like, extra snake vertebra? Said no one ever. Extra snake vertebra, like people people have a hard enough time getting the getting the getting the two they actually need. In this challenge is gonna be different, I think. We'll probably have extra snake vertebra at some point. Although I guess we haven't gotten any snake vertebra, have we? I don't know. I just I just remember hearing them like hearing so many people say like how long it takes to get the snake vertebra. Benny, are you okay? I got them all the time on my fire at farm. It was dressy. Back rash. St tongue sticky outy face. Look, I know it's the autocorrect, okay? <laughs> but it's your autocorrect is starting to become more auto than correct. <laughs> I, I don't understand. Someone send help. I'm scared. Well, that's really good, though. I actually pretty much understand what you were saying though <laughs> which is which is even more hilarious I'm gonna put some dirt in your eye bully Maguire what the heck what are you doing in here I love I love your work bully Maguire have a good one there Durmeister Thank you very much for hanging out. It's always good to see you, and thank you for the uh, for the well wishes as well. Take good care. Did I lose track? I think I lost track of my pattern here. That's okay. I have all the clay I need anyway, so... Lock it in. See, Harvey's right here. He could easily, like, trip and stumble if someone were to, I don't know, nudge him with a horse real quick. Stumble, his glasses fall into the river, they break. More broken glasses in the river. That's the way it goes. All right. Now, how far is this 600 clay going to take us, do you think? Is is the real question at the end of the day here. 600 clay. Well, let's just see how many brick paths we get out of this. It should it should be like with the amount of stone we have, we should get like a thousand like I said. I'm gonna put away the 
Put the bone fragments in here, I suppose, as well. I don't think I have bone fragments anywhere else, do I? No, nah, we'll just keep them in the bone chest for right now. Alright, get all this. Brick floor, my bay. Craft them all. 995 brick floors. I can even get one more stone out of here. And make that a clean thousand brick floors. Boom. And we actually have more stone and clay if we want to make more. A thousand is a great start, though. A thousand is going to be pretty huge. That's a lot of brick floor. So, how thick are we making our path, do you think? Like, so we want paths to all the standard areas that we that we frequent. So we probably want pathing that leads like out of the farm here. Can we do like a like a too thick path? 0.23 electron volts. I guess too thick. Is this does does this seem this seems fine, right? Yeah, two. I, like, I, I kind of want to do three a little bit. But I also realize that three would probably be a little bit excessive. Stick you right here for now. I would love to get rid of this stone. so we, But I guess we'll just work around it for right now. At least the stone we know is not going to... destroy any of this path anymore. Alright, let's build it straight out to here. That's good enough. What's the total size of the beach farm? Uh, it big, is, is all I know. It pretty big. Okay, let's do a little... little diagonal shuffle down here, maybe? I guess that's not really diagonal, it's literally just like an L shape, but that's fine. Alright, we're gonna go over this way. Oh, there's a rock literally right there, that's fine. Straight past the greenhouse, we're gonna take it all the way over to the mushroom cave. Um, do a little loop-de-loop around this tree. Actually, well, you know what, let's just entomb the entire tree. And then we can continue the path like this. I kind of like that. You know, brick floor, actually, once I start building it out here, hole up, I'm kind of enjoying how it looks now. It's kind of, kind of a vibe, honestly. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. All right, that's pretty good right there. That gets it. That gets us to the mushroom cave. You were using three, and then you decided you didn't like how much real estate it was taking up, and you had to remove it all. Yeah, I feel like two paths. It it feels right to me. All right, we got to try and build a path as best we can down to the. Uh, down to the animal enclosure as well. Oops, didn't need to put one right there. Hi, I, I love you, buddy, but I'm gonna need you to clear out of the way for just a moment. Thank you. Goes well with the beach farm, especially in autumn. Goes well with the house house too. It it is actually pretty pretty staggering how well it matches. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I can get rid of some of this. Uh, grass out of here as well. I'm gonna make my make my way around these trees a little bit. It is weirdly satisfying. For I did I never thought it was, I didn't realize how much I missed pathing, honestly. I don't often take advantage of pathing like on my own. In, in my in previous runs, I've I've very seldom taken advantage of pathing like this. Now that I actually have earned it, I've earned the right to use this path after 13 long in-game years. Oh boy, does it feel good! It feels just it feels right, you know. They also give you a slight speed buff on the farm. It's like a 0 0.1 speed buff, right? It's it's like it's almost in like unnoticeable. But it does, uh, it does technically speed you up on the farm a little bit. Do a little, little wrap around here. We got some avant-garde pathing because of the the nature of our farm and all the debris around it. I'm not too upset about it, honestly. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's not a very noticeable speed buff, but it is, uh... It's noticeable, or not... Well, it, it adds up over time, I guess I should say. It'll add up over time to make it so that we're slightly more efficient and faster everywhere we go on the farm. Okay, let's do a little wrap around here. We can say hi to the, uh... To the lone standing bonsai. The lone bonsai guiding our path downward. At least all the animals are inside now. True. This would be a bit more cumbersome to place these without with all the animals outside. That said, it is getting late, so I don't know if we're actually going to be able to, to do all this. Uh-oh. Should have brought my homie sword with me. Might as well build paths to every, to every entrance here. Uh, oh, okay, I can only do one wide there. That's fine. Actually, maybe I should just do one wide for this, like, entire little area here, because it's pretty... it's pretty closed. It's pretty tight around here. Let's do a little bit of that. Actually, I kind of want to... you know what? It, it would kind of look all right to do it like this. There we go. And then we continue down here. Wrap around like this. Do something like that. Just a nice... Okay, we can't go over that way. That's because there's a stump in the way here. Can I go under the stump? No, that's entirely blocked off. Alright, fair enough. Kind of like doing this. Boom, 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 boom. This bat. <laughs> this bat is my friend. This bat is my friend. I will name him George and I will love him forever. Okay, let's do a... Let's do like a full wrap around here. That said, he is getting on my last nerve a little bit. Don't worry about it. Don't don't worry about Beatrix. She's dealt with much worse than this in the past. <laughs> Let's go ahead and I don't need to do that there. Oh, there's another bat coming. You know what? I think well let's let's finish up the animal area here at the very least. Because we're already so close to being done, and we don't want to have to deal with having to outmaneuver animals that want to be petted. We just have to outmaneuver some bats, which is not the end of the world. Okay. I'll, I'll just just close the loop. Just close the loop, please. Okay, we're good. We're good. All right, I'm I'm willing to accept that. Also, put some down here just to let's let's just wrap around this entire little. I guess I, that's about the best I can do. All right, fair. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Actually, I hate it now. I don't like how it looks anymore. All right, do that. Perfect. All right. I'm going to bed now. <laughs> Off to bed with me. That was a productive day, though. That was a very nice, productive day, getting some path laid down like that. Feels good for the first time in a long time. All right. Let's carry on, shall we? We still have 682 paths, which is not uh, not that bad. It's nothing to scoff at. We have to... I would like to make a pathway down to the uh, Junimo area as well. I think that is probably the last area we really need to worry about. And then all other paths we can use for for whatever else I guess we decide to if we if I want to like surround some trees or something like that. What is the path I normally take down to the I kind of do like a winding path down through this area. Which is a little cumbersome to make work with pathways here. But cumbersome is my middle name. I think we can still make some magic happen here. Like if I if I normally what do I normally do? I normally come down and I start like going down like from here. So let's start a path like right here and just follow it to its natural conclusion. Wrap around whatever stones you need to. Do a little something like this. Ooh, I'm like, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. The, the zigzagginess of of having to wrap around all this debris is kind of nice. I'm kind of feeling it. 
In fact, I'm gonna wrap around all this debris as well right here, just because I can. And you know what? Just continue the trend. Why not? <laughs> I might be going a little overboard. We're getting a little bit sidetracked here, but I have lots of pathways to work with, so I'm not super concerned about it. You only should usually put path or trails you actually use during winter on the farm. Don't want to take up too much space for farming and hay. I don't have to worry so much about, uh, about like, grass anymore, at least. We got, like, a nice straight shot down here, by the way. That's pretty nice to see. I ca I'm kind of enjoying how the, uh, how the debris makes me have to, like, work around it, though. Am I insane for that? Is that, like, is that, like, Stockholm Syndrome from just having to have dealt with this debris for so long? <laughs> I don't know, but I kind of like the, like, natural look it gives the farm a little bit. There's something to it. Wrap around this a little bit here. We got like a nice little plaza. Ooh, I'll take it. And I think we should honestly, we, we could do like a, a whole like wrap around of the, uh, of this area here. I don't have my ax on me. I should have brought that. You know, I should get the ax instead of the pickaxe actually. Okay, we could do, we could wrap the entire Junimo sanctuary in bricks. Yeah, like a full wrap around the field. I think I'm here for that. We should probably protect these guys as well. As much as possible. <laughs> They've got a nice little pine forest to, all to themselves, but... I don't, maybe I don't want to intrude on it too much. I don't know. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, let's follow the path, I guess, that we've established now. Follow the path on up. Boom. Swap out for a quick axe. Quick axe swap. Never seen an axe swap so fast. Protect the hooties. Can we get some owl emojis in chat for the hooties? Hootie and the chicken. They must be protected at, at all costs. Alright, so let's just let's just start doing a full wraparound of this this thing here. Um, oh I need to that's right, this is why I need to get the axe in the first place. Boom. Just like so. You out of here. I can put I can put you back right away. Let's just do that. Might as well do these as I go. I was I was part of me wanted to like go all the way around and then put the uh and then fix the scarecrows up, but I might as well just fix the scarecrows as I'm doing them here. The rare crows, my apologies. What was that little waltz tune? Uh the song that was just playing. Hold on, I can go back and, and find out. Then we'll come back to the sunroom, but I just gotta, I'm gonna, previous media. That was A Short Flight, a song from A Short Hike. That is, that is the song that was previously playing. Um, oh, gosh, I thought I, I thought I, like, closed that of my chat for a second there, but, alright, we're good. Sunroom, your second favorite Stardew song? What's your favorite? I could take a guess. We got Dance of the Moonlight Jellies. That's a banger for sure. You got, uh... You got the Night Market theme. I gotta be very careful that blue discus pond right there. Alright, we're good though. Stillness in the Rain. That's a classic. That's Abigail's song, right? Can I not put... Oh, is there a seed there? I didn't even notice that. Holy. Never would have noticed that if I wasn't trying to put a path down. Alright, clear those boys out of the way for a moment. Then we'll put them back nice and tidy-like. Like nothing ever changed at all. Perfect. Almost around to the last rare crow. You'll love to see it. Perfect. I can, put, I can put sprinklers on top of the flooring. You know, that might be a good idea. Just uh, just to keep continue the... Uh, continue matching the aesthetic here. And then I can actually do like this, so that it just follows like a little snaky pattern like that. Good call. 
Oh, I guess I do just still have to have one there. Okay. There we go. I'll take that. Perfect. All right. Yeah, good shout, Lisa. Thank you. All right. We have lots of paths still to work with. I kind of feel like I should do... Like, I should connect another path from, like, the mushroom cave to here. That just seems to make sense to me. Even though it's not a path I might use all that often. I think it's just, you know, to have a full interconnected farm. Is a, it's a smart idea. This might, this looks a little strange. I'm gonna actually do like that, I think. Well, hold on a second. Just do like this instead. No, I kind of like how it was wrapping around before. But what if I just wrap around like the whole ship? Oh, I kind of like that. Now we've got options. We've got options on where to go here. The horse cannot. The horse can navigate one tile paths that are horizontal, but not ones that are vertical. That is how that works, I believe. If I know my iota. And I think I do. Alright. Clear these little seedlings out of here while I'm nearby. They're also a little bit in my way. I did not expect this stream to become like an aesthetic decorating stream, which I guess this isn't entirely aesthetic. This is a lot of this is pragmatic purpose, but I'm here for it too. All right, one like that as well. Um, we could connect. I feel I'm feeling a connection right here as well. I don't know why. I mean, I've got so many paths to spend. I might as well spend them. You know. I made these paths, I'm gonna darn well use them. Just connect all the pathways. Beauty. You love the decorating streams, they're so calming. Um, you know what I think I'm gonna do here is actually I'm going to connect, I'm not gonna put pathways like in this area with all like the meet our meteorites and the trees and the hoodies and everything. What I'm going to do instead, I'm just going to do like a little wraparound section here to enclose it. It's like a nice, it's like a national park, you know? This is, this is an attraction now. This is where the Hooties live, in, in and amongst all their lovely pine trees and space rocks. I kind of like that. Save some room for new meteorites. Do meteorites break pathways? They probably don't, right? We could do a little pathing down here if we want to. We don't really go down this way all that often. But maybe we could still do it all the same just to... You know what, let's give it a try. I'm feeling the whim of the path. Let's just have a, you know, we could take a nice little nature walk down here if we need to. And who knows, we may use this area for something in the future, so having the pathway pre-established, not a bad idea. Meteor Garden, exactly. Meteor Garden is actually a really good name for it. Okay, I'm gonna have to maneuver this wild plum for right now. We got the the hardwood enclosure as well. You know, actually, we could enclose this hardwood basically entirely as long as we go like three tiles out. They can't grow any further beyond that. That's nice. Okay. We could also connect... If we scythe a path through here, we could actually connect this a little bit, too. I'm kind of here for that. I'm not here for these bats, though. Hello. Sneaky chicken hiding in the grass. <laughs> I'm sorry to disturb your nap, my chicken friend. That was, uh... <laughs> you, were, you were well hidden. I would have pet you by accident if I wasn't careful. Ninja Chicken. Meteor Garden is a TV show. Is that true? It is It is a very striking name. I guess I shouldn't be surprised that it's been used for something else in the past. Alright, 
right, we'll, we'll work around the chicken here. I'm okay with that. Do a little... There we go. Beauty. All right, I like it. I'm going to double this one up, actually. This feels like it needs to be a little bit doubled. Same with this over here. Even though you can't double it, like, the whole way, I feel like doubling it most of the way makes sense. These cows are having a heck of a time. It's 9 p.m. Why are there still cows outside? What the heck, dude? <laughs> Poor cows having a tough time to find his way back. It's such a big farm. She's getting lost in here. Is, is our chicken still out? What <laughs> chicken fell asleep outside? That is a that's a brave chicken right there. We got a sleepy cow outside too. I didn't realize they could do that. All right, get this all out of here. We can do a little connection right here as well. There's a diagonal connection potential there. I think I'm gonna go ahead and we might. Um, I'm gonna double this one up real quick. Actually, this feels like it needs a doubling to me. Double me. Perfect. Double it. Alright. I think that's pretty good. We still have a lot of pathways to work with, obviously, but I don't feel the need to put any more anywhere else just yet. Uh, I'm going to put them away in my resource chest, because they are a resource more than anything else right now. They want to stargaze? Yeah, as long as we leave the doors open to the to the uh, enclosures, the, the animals should be fine. I just want to do a little sleeping under the stars, a little camping trip. It's like when you go camping in your backyard when you're like five years old. That's such a cozy vibe. All right. Lock it in. That's going to be a heck of a day on the, uh, I mean, on the daily screenshot album that we're building up, because need I remind you, every time we go outside, we get a, f a screenshot of our farm to add to our album. This is going to have been a very, uh, very striking change. Adding these paths and getting rid of all the grass previously, those are both going to be, like, very noticeable days. I'm going to move this torch out of the way just because it feels, like, wrong. I so want to get rid of this stone. I, I really... This stone is harsh in my vibe just a little bit. What we could do, instead of getting rid of the stone, we could move the whole dang shipping bin over by one. That's a possibility. You were talking about that? Yeah, I'm very excited to see how that goes. Alright, we'll leave this for right now. Shipping bin, chicken, shipping bin next to the mailbox. That's actually a great spot for it, yeah. We could do that instead and then just like completely get rid of of this porch, that that tile right there, and then just do shipping bin right there. Robin is in today. Well, she's, I mean, she's not technically working, but if we catch her at the right time, we'll be able to get her. Let me go ahead and get my fruit tree fruits here. Also, I feel like... Was there... No, I thought I saw something weird. Actually, you know what? I want to wrap around this stone right here with my brick paths. That's what I was seeing. That feels incomplete to me right there. Break it, we'll close our eyes. Part of me was tempted to break it, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. But when I realize I could just, like, move the shipping bin instead, I feel like that's the smarter play. Alright. Oh, we can move it at the wizards. You're actually very right about that. We can just we can go down to the wizards and do that instead. Do I need to move the torch first? Uh, the shipping bin shouldn't take up the same spot as the torch. Well, I guess I can move the torch just in case. No reason not to, because if I'm wrong, then we will be upset that I have to go back to the t just to move the torch, just to go all the way back again. Karenite, welcome on in. Good to see you. All right. Root trees successfully looted. The pathing around the farm is a little bit serpentine and maze-like, and I don't—I've never really had a path like that before. All my pathing on previous farms has been pretty straightforward. 
from like one place to the next, but just the nature of this farm, of like how we've had to design it to get around debris and stuff, like not only with the pathing, but with the buildings and stuff too. I kind of like how it turned out. Chat, rate my, rate my pathing on a scale of 0 to 100. 0 being the, the worst pathing job you've ever seen in your entire life, 100 being the best. Rate the pathing. I'm feeling pretty happy with it so far. Let's go down and let's go move our shipping bin. We can do, we can probably do with like widening out some of these pathways, but for at least the baseline to work with, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out here. 70 plus, 68, 78, 98, 86, 87. I'm glad we're in the in the higher end at least that we're not down. But we could build some pathway down here actually. Ten out of ten, A plus. Can we see the screenshot? Mm, not yet. <laughs> we'll save it. Screen screenshot showcases are few and far between these days. We got to save it for a special time. All right, Iota, you're gonna have to wait there. Teaser, exactly. Alright. Hello, wizard. I've come to you in a time of need. You've built me some amazing things. An obelisk that can warp me across the uh, across the nation to the beautiful Calico Desert. You've built me an immaculate golden arcane clock that can prevent the very sp the very materialization of, uh, of matter on my farm. But I've got for you now the most important job of all. I need you to move this wooden box three tiles to the south. Thank you. What a legend. Can you place pathing in the woods? I believe we can. I don't know if it prevents the spawn of debris necessarily. Because I know debris can destroy paths. I've had that happen before. Sorry, Jazz. Definitely can't do that myself. No. Nope. Beatrix is unable. She's moved mountains and done so much to make this to, to, to get to where she is today. But moving a single box a few feet, that's a little bit too advanced for her. I'll never guess what happened to your keyboard. Um... The J key popped off. That's my that's my guess. Because it seems very specific and random. That's that's my guess as to what happened to your keyboard, Benny, but I'm probably wrong. It was stuck in French. I mean that makes sense with some of the autocorrects that you were that you were giving me. I would, you were having a lot of accent aigu, a lot of E's with accents on them. Yeah, the auto that that makes a lot of sense actually. I need path where I just rode up. I think I'm done. I'm good with my pathing where it is right now. Um, I will go ahead and I'm willing to expand it in the future. Especially because I do think you're right. Like that area down south, we probably do need some pathing down there. But for right now. It's tomorrow is tomorrow is Wednesday and it's been a while since we've seen a Wednesday. We have a shot at a sturgeon now. I am excited. It'd be a great way to cap off the stream because I think I have so, I have a bunch of stuff I still have to do to get ready for uh for my vacation. So I should probably end off the stream pretty soon here. So I think we'll check in with Krobus one last time. One last time. Come on, buy a fish with me one last time. Let's take a break today. And then we'll teach them how to how to get a goal. Get a goal from the randomizer. Gotta be a sturgeon with this one. Krobus, if if you if you love me, 
if you truly care about me, Krobus, which, I mean, I have zero hearts with you. <laughs> but, but, Krobus, like, come on, buddy. You gotta come through in the clutch for us on this one. The sturgeon's going home. What did Krobus say? This is most unusual. This is most unusual. I've never found a fish this... This nice in my sewers. It's a sturgeon. Please, please let that be the true canon ending. Get Krobus a phone. That would be funny if you could put, like, a phone down in other people's, like, rooms who don't norm who you can't normally call. And then you'd be able to, like, call them that way. That would be cute. Alright, chat. Drop all the sturgeon-related emojis that you possibly can into chat. This is our final opportunity. If we don't get the sturgeon now, it's gonna have to wait until I get back from vacation in, like, two, two weeks-ish. Krobus responded. It's a lovely idea, but is it realistic, is what Krobus said. Krobus, is it realistic? There's only one person who can answer that. Please, look at all the beautiful fish. If you squint hard enough in chat, those those emojis look like sturgeons to me. They all look like beautiful silver sturgeons. I finally made it to the lake. Part of me wants to sing it, but I don't know. I don't know. It's not it's not the time. It's not the time. Please, Krobus. Find things here and I sell them. Please. Five chubs. <laughs> The most anticlimactic fish of all time. Just five chubs. <laughs> oh god. I'm laughing so hard that I, I choked on my laugh. Well, you know, if we couldn't end with with sturgeons, <coughs> at least we can end with a few bees. If we're not gonna get sturgeons, I've, I can't think of a better song to send you off with than B underscore boss dot OGG. Of course, this won't be the song that I actually send you off with, because I'm gonna do my whole outro, and so we'll be on to another song by the time this one's done. But in principle, one last chance to drop some bees in chat before we go off on vacation. You can't reset the day for a different fish, no. It's a good thought, Lisa, but it's not, uh, it's seeded on the, on a daily basis. I wish it worked that way, though. Drop as many bees as you can. Chat, I'm gonna miss all these bees. I'm, I'm not gonna have any bees on my vacation. Well, I might see some bees like in real life. And if I do, then I'll make sure to bust out my phone and play them some B underscore boss dot OGG so they can vibe out together. But thank you for all the bees as we as we send Beatrix off for, for, for the last time in a little while here. Am I playing till next Friday? Nah, we're, we're calling it a stream here, I think. What if it turns out that bees hate this song IRL? No one hates this song IRL. It's physically impossible to not like this song. Especially if you're a bee. All right. What a wonderful little bee dance party we got to have at the very end here. That said, I'm going to get the heck out of here. I will be away on family vacation until mid-September-ish. So I will see you back in a couple weeks. Um, no streams until then, obviously. I look forward to seeing you all on the flip side. Hopefully this will give you some time to get caught up on some, on some VODs if you've been meaning to catch up on them or... Any other number of things. Maybe you won't. Maybe you'll catch up on something else. Maybe you'll take a little break from from Beatrix and me and all our shenanigans together. Either way, I look forward to seeing you. Thank you for all the well wishes. Be good to one another. Be good to yourselves, and I will see you all in a couple of weeks. Take care, everybody. This is Argon Matrix signing on out. Thank you, and have a great night, everyone. Bye bye.